and go go hello hello working what's up banner how you doing I wish Arizona could decide if it's going to be warm or not. We're in that awkward time of year right now where it's like, <clears throat> sometimes it's 90 degrees and other days it's 50 degrees and they, the desert doesn't know what to do. Oh, today's a cold day. So we got, we got our sweat, we got our sweatshirt on. <laughs> dunga, dunga, dunga. Hello. Uh, I finally broke down and brought a 3D printer. I, I haven't used mine nearly at all. I'm disappointed. Uh, I have the... Mm, I forget. It begins with an E. Someone in chat's gonna tell me the printer that I have. And... And... Ender 3. There it is. Yeah. See? People can remember these things and I can't. It's an Ender 3 I have. Yeah. I would say it's a very good entry level printer. I, mean, I, I I didn't really get into it enough and I need to do uh, use it more, but it uh, some of the detail was lacking. If you really want detail, you got to go with a resin printer, I guess. But there's people here that knows way more than I do. I know very little about it, so. I mostly bought it for like D&D uh, &D minis and stuff like that. Oh, where is it? Hold on. Uh, uh, now I'm on stream deck. Hang on. Nope, everything's falling. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I like I printed like little 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 chests for D and D like little little tables, you know, little little atmospheric things to, to use. Uh and I wanna get into a lot more of that. I actually wanna build like a whole tile set for like walls and stuff like that. Um the chest does not open, no. <clears throat> You could, you could print out two separate pieces and then just kind of like probably get a little bit of, not a hinge, but something like a putty or something maybe might work. I don't know. Bot down. Your bot's down. It just says bot's up. There. I bought it up. Okay. Pendle, how are you doing? Thank you. And her five subs. Thank you so much. God, thank you. And a Moonra, thank you. Kennedy with a thousand biddies, thank you. <laughs> Stream time, let's go. Guacamole, 40 months. 40 months. That's a four with a zero after it. Uh, are you excited for the Silent Shriekers? All right, let's talk. Let's talk about the, the new stuff coming to 120. By the way, I just posted uh, yesterday's stream to the second channel. Uh, and then this today we'll put, do the same thing. Uh, so... Watch all of the VODs on the second YouTube channel. We can get a link to that. Um, oh, yeah, 120. So they did some awesome stuff. <clears throat> uh, they did some awesome stuff. They, Skulk Shriekers can now be waterlogged, which I've been asking for. A lot of people have been asking for a while. That's fantastic. Fantastic change. How is that actually going to affect Decked Out? I don't know, honestly. I don't think much, honestly. People are all like, oh my gosh, Tango's gotta be so excited. And I am in a general sense. I don't know that it changes <laughs> much for Decked Out because again, I want that Shrieker sound to be the, you just generated Clank. You just triggered Clank. So I'm not going to really silence them, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I mean, there is the option of like, I could disable them by water logging them on and off now, but then it's still going to generate a block update and I wouldn't know if that was a real signal or not. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're fantastic for player detectors. Now that in conjunction with uh, lower cooldowns on calibrated skulk sensors down to one second is, is great. So that we actually have legit uh, player detectors in the game now, which is fantastic. <clears throat> You're worried for other player detections was that it sounded like Clank. That's yeah, exactly. Zing. So we have, we have great uh, player detection now that doesn't require you to make a shrieker. So for instance, I could use waterlogged shriekers for the main door now and not, and bats can't trigger it and players don't feel like they just generated Clank. So it's great. It does not detect bats. No, because a shrieker only goes off from a player generated uh, thing. Like it has to be, it has to be, it only detects players, bats, anything it doesn't detect. So, so it is perfect for that. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, and then they increase the distance. Uh, this one, I'm like, okay, it's good. I still don't know that I'm really going to become, you know, wireless redstone boy. They, they increase the, the distance. And I, I understand this correctly. I haven't really watched snapshot videos and stuff yet. But if I understand correctly, they increase the distance where skulk sensors will detect from 8 to 16 blocks. So they doubled it, which is great. <clears throat> you know, is that is that now to the point where you're going to start sending signals long distances with a calibrated skulk sensor chain? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Calibrated, yeah, sorry. I mean, at this point, is anyone going to use regular skulk sensors anymore? I'm just assuming that... Is there any advantage, and this is a legit question, I don't know, are there any advantages for a regular skulk sensor? I feel like you're just going to just always use calibrated ones. Yeah, the stream just started, Meridiums. Mumble made a video with wireless resistor. I know, I saw it. I saw it. It was good. Uh, but it wasn't... It was... It was it's the same kind of thought I he put together the thoughts I had to and everything um but it's still kind of clunky you know and it's limited but overall great changes though I'm super happy what's up Cubella how you doing DW Mentley two years thank you GMR Arogues, if I pronounce that correctly, thank you. And Stingray, thank you for the brand new subject from Twitch Prime. Uh, we got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do today. I want to, we're going to finish the, the roofs. Uh, what's up, Rackham? How you doing? We're going to finish the roofs. Uh, I actually did a little bit. I did this room today. This was all open. We did this room here. Again, I'm not going for like super. I just want a roof. And I want it to look like a cave and be jaggedy and kind of, you know, I'm adding a little bit of light to draw attention to it. I did that room uh, and I started to do this room. It's mostly done. Uh, we got to get, I want to do from, let's see. I want to do this room right here and the hallways back there. And then I think we're done with the ice caves. And then we're gonna do the crypt, but the crypt should go quick because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cheese it and smooth stone. And like you can see, I already started to do some of the crypt. It's easy. Well, I play the April first snapshot at all. I did see a couple things. What's up, Mosul? How you doing? Uh, Mosul, I'm not ignoring you, by the way. I'm just priorities. I, I, I have to talk to you, Mosul, and I have to talk to uh, a sound person uh, about things to come. And it's just videos always seem to take priority. Um, Anyways, uh, will I play the April 1st snapshot at all? I, I don't know. I saw it. It looked intriguing. Uh, Azuma's trying or it was suggesting that a bunch of hermits could get together and do something fun with it. It looks like there's a good good thing there with like the voting thing. Um, yeah, it looks like it could be cool. So I guess if something came together, I would probably jump on it, but I'm not going to be setting it up myself. Gashkowski, thank you. I honestly don't think many people will be paying attention to the roof. Exactly why Tarantula, and that's a <laughs> nice name, by the way. That's exactly why I'm just kind of like, eh. Especially in the crypt, I think it's fine to just have a stone roof because that's what you would expect. <clears throat> uh, all right, so let's get going here. I got I got a box of icy goodies over here, I think. Ooh, face. What else? I've been doing some thinking about end of game process and... Uh, how we're going to kill the player, what items get sorted out and stuff like that. We can talk about that later. Feeling better about that. Are you doing a roof or a ceiling? Yes. Icy goodies. I want ice cream sandwiches. That sounds good. Did you already transport the Ravagers? No, I haven't. Uh, I don't want to transport the Ravagers until the roof is done because I don't want to have to be building the roof while the Ravagers are in there, you know, because face eaten. I'm, I'm honestly very nervous. Like, I, I'm, I'm, if there's anything I'm second guessing, it's am I ready for Ravagers right now? You know, what am I What am I going to regret by, I'm going to put these Ravagers in here and then be like, oh, wait a minute, I totally forgot to blah, blah, blah. And that's going to require me to either kill the Ravagers or sequester them somehow. And it's going to get, it's going to get interesting. It's going to get interesting. But luckily with the process we have that will be the focus of next video, I don't think getting Ravagers will be that hard. Like, I feel like we could probably get four Ravagers into the dungeon in half an hour, maybe? I don't know. 
bug testing before or after ravages. I mean, the bug testing is kind of just ongoing. Uh, oh, can I do this just as good while I'm streaming? I don't know. I don't know. I might require more brain power. Um, bug testing is an ongoing thing. The road plan, for those that don't know, is this next video will be moving Ravagers and Invokers into into the dungeon. Uh, the one after that will be uh, ZF and I, mostly ZF, doing some playtesting and running things. I'm going to like make a deck for it, make a deck of cards for him. I'm also going to program a lot more cards between now and then. I'll put, I'll put together different various uh, deck of cards for Zed to say, okay, play now with this heavy... You know, treasure deck, play with this heavy anti anti clank deck, you know, heavy sneak deck or something like that and see what his experience like, get his feedback, see if he lives, see if he dies, all that stuff. I think it'll be fun. Love bug testing, you do it for your job. Some people are very good at it. Again, there is no rhyme or reason to anything we're doing here with this. It's just kind of place random blocks and it turns out kind of good enough. Well, let's see. Let's go with some andesite. <clears throat> Do you know what the starter deck is for each player? Well, that's a great question. I've been thinking about that a little bit. Not any serious thought, but I was like, well, I think it'd be fun to like, you know, a new player comes into decked out. They're going to first thing they're going to do is claim one of the uh, little cubby hole areas, right? Uh, and then grab grab a shulker there. And I'd like to I'd like to have obviously some uh, some cars already in there for them, but I don't want to give them a, like a full deck. I think it's going to be pretty empty. You know, I mean, technically, deck that can be played with no cards. <clears throat> um, you know, and if you're going to do an easy run, you could probably probably win with an easy, easy deck of cards. Uh, with that said, I'll probably, you know, I'm leaning toward maybe giving them like a sneak and maybe one treasure card. And then I'm thinking a couple of ethereal cards, like not because it's not enhancing their deck, but it's giving them a little bit of boost in the beginning. They'll have some decent ethereal cards, meaning again, ethereal cards, put them in your deck, use them once and then they're gone. So that'll make their first runs or whenever they decide to use them easy without ruining the process of building their own deck so that's that's where my head's at right now but i don't i don't know uh die right Have you already seen Pearl's work? Yeah, we looked at it yesterday in stream. Uh, talked all about it. The build is amazing. If you haven't seen her video, obviously you should go see it. What's up, Shizuzio? Welcome. <clears throat> what have I missed? What have I missed? Wilco, I missed you first of all. Thank you for the $6 before. <clears throat> Looking forward to starting your new job next week. Fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, do you have a plan on how to distribute keys yet? No. And this is honestly uh, the one that's really tripping me up. I don't I don't know how to do it yet um, in a way that I mean, I thought of a lot of ideas, right? I don't want to hide them. I could distribute them. I could just get rid of keys and say, you know, or just give like an allocation per day. There's a lot of paths, a lot of options I've considered, and I just I don't. None of them have really struck out at me as like, yep, that's that's how we're going to do it. That's great. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, that, that that decision has been haunting me since I initially started planning this. <clears throat> what about small mini quests around the server? Uh, maybe I, 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 I kind of might see that, though, as like. As as finding them I, I don't want busy work you know i don't want if they want to play decked out i want to let them play decked out the goal i mean regardless of how we give them keys the goal is people should be able to mostly play decked out when they want to play and 
if you're losing or haven't played in a while, I want you to play even more. I only want to, the only reason we have keys is to slow down the crazies who would play 20 times a day. Uh, keys are necessary. Keys are necessary. Um, I just don't know how to give them out yet, but we'll figure it out. Corrales. Corrales is a good example. Corrales will play the game probably more than anyone, and that's awesome. And I want him to be able to play the game a lot. I just don't want him to be able to play the game 30 times a day. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want the, I don't want you to be able to win by just having way more free time. I mean, in the end, the person who wins is going to be the person who plays the most, probably. Or they're going to be up there in the top tier of, of number of times played. I just don't want it to be like, you can just brute force it. <clears throat> but Wilco, thank you. And then again, Wilco with uh, with a piece of pie. I missed the first donation. Yeah. I got it. I got it, Wilco. Yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Crazy Silverado, thank you for the piece of pie. I see. Thank you for eight months. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I have spreadsheets about how I evaluate the standings on a per week basis. And based on where you are in the standings determines how many keys I give you for next week. I don't even know if I'm using that system, but I put a lot of thought into something like that as well, too. What's up, Joshua? How you doing? Will you release uh, your decked out maps and spreadsheets after it's done? Yeah, absolutely. Give all the keys for an entire season up front. Yeah, right. Max of three to five runs a day. Yeah, I'm not chess. I don't know. I don't know if it's a daily limit or a weekly limit. I'm probably leaning more toward weekly because people's time varies. There's going to be a lot of times if I do it per day, then it very much feels like if I don't log in and play today, I'm losing out on my opportunity where if it's per week, then you have a lot more flexibility in when you can batch your runs on a per video schedule, that kind of thing, as opposed to just feeling like I have to get in play today or I missed my keys. Will you stream the Zed test? We're going to do both. We're going to stream Zed testing and it's going to be in video. Um, I don't know what the priority will be first or where, but who knows? I mean, that's not a bad, that's not a bad thought zing as like an alternate tournament kind of thing. I could see a decked out tournament where everyone who enters gets 10 keys and it's just how many points can you get with those 10 keys? That would be that would be interesting as a side thing. So maybe maybe when decked out fizzles out, we'll do a tournament like Beef's doing with the with the trading card game. That's a, that's a really good idea. <clears throat> okay, I I want to read chat, but I want to I also want to build the dungeon. I need I need the roofs. Okay, did I get all these? We'll go inside in a second here. And always now when I, yep, say when I, when I cover up the roof, suddenly there's a lot of, uh, did I have? Am I missing it? I would have sworn I had some lichen on me here. All right, we'll be back probably with creepers in here. I think I'm almost out of lichen. In fact, let's go. Let's go like and subscribe to the lichen farm. Where's my lichen farm? There it is. Uh, oh, wait, I need my, my 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 shears. Are they in? There they are. There they are. Uh, Uh, how does this work? Uh, there we go. <clears throat> You're about calibrated skull sensors. Yeah, we just, Vaughn, we just talked about them for like five or ten minutes at the beginning of the stream. So what do you think about the situation now? Is DO2 ready 50% more or less? It's hard to say. 
total amount of work done, it's probably 50%, but time-wise, it's past 50% because once level one is done and I play it with Zed and stuff, uh, yeah, these are the shears from Pearl. Uh, these are, uh, uh, P. Sherman, 42 all the way. <clears throat> Farm's a bit loud. Sure is. Sure is. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, turn this gadoodler off. Uh, I'll, I'll be back for this stuff in a second. Let me just go put this away. I know you guys are going to lose your mind about me and my shovel on the ground. Uh, so, 50% yeah, work. Yes. 70% of the time, I feel like. But that's completely made up. Ow! Did I place my redstone box down somewhere? <laughs> where, where is it? Uh, it's gone. <clears throat> oh, it's right there. Come on. Have you decided on a theme of level four yet? No. Uh, and there's a lot of internal chat going on, I'll be honest, about wardens. <clears throat> about how much of a threat they are, or more importantly, are not. Uh, and how to correctly design a level for a warden. These are a lot of things that take some serious consideration. If I make levels three and four like levels one and two, it'd be it'd be levels three and four would be very, very easy and I would be very, very sad. So we we have to really learn how wardens thrive as a threat because they're really not that much of a threat. I think I think open areas are better for them. Uh, so that they don't, I don't, I don't know though, honestly, there's a lot of, a lot of testing we need to do still. And they're blind because it's like, and again, this is something I've been talking about. It's like, if you put in too few wardens, it's not, it's just not enough threat. If you put in too many wardens, you have too much blindness and the player is blind 80% of the time. And then it's just not fun for the player or the viewer or anybody. And I really am starting to get concerned that the overlap there is not one where there's a good solution. It's going to require five wardens to be a threat, but less than three wardens to not be blind all the time, if that if that makes sense. So we'll see. Now let me light up this top part a little bit here. A lot of times this get a little dark areas up here as well. Looks good. Let's go inside. Uh, let's get rid of you and lighten up. No. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good. Okay, you just bust the door and hey, I'm here. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm um, making a game. Really? Yeah. Yep. In three sentences, tell me about your game. Ravagers eat your face. I don't, I don't have. Oh, over here. Okay. That <laughs> three sentences? That was yeah. That was that was uh a little less than three sentences. Alright, how are we doing on looking for looking for red? It's generally up in the in the top sections. I think we're good though. Let's see how the ceiling looks. It's probably pretty bland. Let's throw some spiky spikes on it. And a little bit more regular ice. I like to, I like having these like <clears throat> I like having these little like clusters of ice come down at various locations. Oh, totally missed this section over here. Yep, it's flat. Just throw in some regular ice. And it makes the problem go away. Plus, that's a little bit of that transparency. 
Okay. Da, 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 da. Some of the darker spots I like to lighten up a little bit just to, just to draw a little bit of attention to the ceiling. Makes it feel more three dimensional. Makes it feel better. Okay. One sentence ready in 2042. Yeah, pretty much. So have you eliminated the trading among, amongst hermits in playing decked out? They can trade cards. I, I can't stop them from that and I won't discourage it. Um, so yeah, I think it's fine to trade cards because really what you're going to have is people are like, I really want this card. I want this one card. If anyone gets it, I will pay them heavily for it. And then someone else is going to go into the dungeon and be like, ooh, look, that card's available. I'll buy it so that I can sell it to Etho. You know, that kind of thing will happen. I think trading is fine. It's interaction that we need between the hermits. Um, and, but then, then, you know, there's trading cards. <laughs> there's trading crowns. Uh, and there's trading knowledge. That's the one that's going to be hard to... Uh, can't think of the right word. Monitor? That's not the right word. Like, someone's going to come in and find the recipe for a legendary. That is incredibly useful information arguably more valuable than any card facilitate measure quant quantify yeah and i i my concern is that hermits will give up that information too easily and then kind of ruin it for the other people so i would almost prefer if they didn't trade knowledge if everyone had to figure out the knowledge for themselves jay Kells doing jay Kells things <laughs> jay Kells, thank you for the 10 gifted subs copper hanu 11 months thank you Less stocks, 420. Thank you. Greetings from the Netherlands. You guys are great. Thank you. Shadazar, 19 months. Non-stoppable. Thank you so much. Socially awkward wolf. I love your name. Thank you. Uh, even at the viewers, the viewers are honestly like, you know, no offense to you guys, but the viewers are the worst, right? Because they, every person feels the need. I have a piece of information. I need to tell it to every hermit. You know, I'm going to be the one that tells them and I'm going to be the one that helps them. And that's just the way the Internet works. And it's unfortunate. So that's why there's things I'm not going to be showing you guys, because it'll at least help limit it so that when one hermit discovers it, because if I show you guys now, it'll be like day one. Everyone will be like, oh, my God, make sure you check the thing or the thing and go here. And, and, and hermits don't need that in their videos. You know, they don't they don't want to play have a decked out video where they go read their comments and it's full of spoilers about decked out. That's the worst. Uh, oh, look, we got a section here. <clears throat> make the recipe on a slip of paper, but make the craft include the recipe as an item. Well, I mean, having the knowledge. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. So that you have to go to the recipe place to get. And that's one of the ingredients. Maybe. Yeah. Even still, though, it's it, getting to the recipe locations generally isn't hard. It's it's finding them. But yeah, th there'll be some things, you know, I, it, basically someone's not going to be able to just come in and, and be like, oh, I know the recipe for this thing. Therefore, I get it. Acquiring the ingredients is really going to be the hard part. The knowledge of of uh, what the recipe is, is just the beginning part. That's really it. But anyways, none of that's any, none of that's even done. So, you know, it just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter right now. I have Blackstone on me for a project later. Uh, let, let's let's go blue ice because blue ice is fun. Or something. A little bit of snow. Snow wouldn't be up here, though. Every time I put snow on the roof, I'm like, that's not right. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Just heard a skeleton. Oh, it's probably up. Yeah, there he is. Probably one of those guys up there. Blue ice is so expensive. Oh, I, I know. Every time I place it down, I'm like, that was costly. Also, knowing that a recipe is the top of the parkour course doesn't make the jumping idea. Sure, Fade of Kane, if I decide to... Uh, make the knowledge of the recipe also be difficult to get to, yeah. 
Have you consulted the other hermits on how they feel uh, the key distribution went during season seven? No, I know searching for keys is not what I want to do. But I could ask around. We'll see. Joel, thank you for the raid of 38. So many raids lately, Joel. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Missed the block. I'm sure I missed lots of blocks. Yep. There we go. Blink. And look, look how dark that gets all of a sudden. Boom. Uh, let's liken it up there. And we need some lichen up in the ceiling there, too. Uh, let's go there. Looking for more of these dark spots. Oh, got one here. Boink. Let's get more of this, some of that. Maybe one of those. And let's get some regular ice. Bring that down a little bit. Just add a little bit more texture to the ceiling because sometimes like right there, it starts to get a little bit too flat and ice would be dripping, forming big icicles and all that good stuff. Yeah, see, like I like all this stuff right there. That's good. There's some light leaking. Yeah. I mean, well, that's not light leaking. That's the lichen up there. I'm sure it's leaking through slabs or something somewhere, but overall, this is starting to look decent, I think. Let me see. Let me get a... Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's got a pillar on it or a, a wall on it, so it's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one up here. I mean, that's that's chaotic enough, I think. Uh, that's a bit too low. All right, food or top power. <clears throat> a great thing to do is ask the players what they think would be great for the game. <laughs> yes and no. But then I get 10 people all suggesting different things and I don't pick 90% of them or any of them. And they all feel like, why did you bother asking my opinion? Because you didn't take my idea, you know? And, and, and I'll be honest, this sounds horrible, but I feel like I know better than the players do. I, I, I think I think I'm a little bit better at figuring out a better way of balancing the keys and stuff than people who played decked out in season seven. All right. Roof, roof, roof. Uh, that could use some slabs. <laughs> Ignorant plebs? No, I would not say that. No, 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 no. Didn't I have... Yeah, let's get... Let's get a little bit more slabbies everywhere here just to bump it up a little bit more. And these... And you got some of these, like, right corners that are... This feels very blocky here, so let me get some pillars here. Okay, good enough. And now we just got this last room here. <clears throat> I think there's a missed spot on the pillar in the last room. A missed uh, red spot. That's not missed. That's got a that's got a wall on it, so they can't spawn there. I think we're good. <clears throat> When's the grand opening? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, for sure. All right, let's schedule up there. We're gonna start by making a little ramp. Uh, actually, let's go reblockificate because I'm almost out of blocks here. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Streaming the launch. <laughs> uh, I will probably stream quite a bit when it does launch, and we'll just we'll just stream on spectator account and and watch people. That'll be fun. What am I doing here? Words. Give me some of that. Uh, sticks can go away. More of this. Oh, minecarts in there. That makes me happy. Guess what that means. 
Things are broken again. Uh, give me more of these cobble walls because they're good. <clears throat> when do you start streaming with, uh, blah, 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 I don't want to miss that stream with Zed. Uh, probably next week. Again, this video is going to be getting the Ravagers and Evokers in at the end of this next video. I'll probably do a little teaser run with the Ravagers in. Uh, and then I'll save it all for next video with Zed and stuff like that. We'll probably be streaming it as well next week. <clears throat> yeah, if you haven't watched Pearl's latest video, please do so. She added a piece to Decked Out. It's amazing. Glorious. And the caliber of quality that one would expect from Pearl. I feel like, oh, I got plenty of anesthetic. Okay, how am I on ice? Let's grab, let's grab a little more ice. I plan on making all the dungeon levels prior to opening the game. Yep. Yep. Blue ice and a little regular ice. There we go. We're good. Couldn't you just put a key dispenser in every Hermit's Trophy room and every time they want to play, they push a button to see it? Yeah, that's part of the idea, Throngle. That I mean, that's the distribution method. That's not the... That's not the... Uh, what's the word? Uh, there, there's how, I, how they physically get a key, but then there's how I determine the throttling of how many keys they get. Did I miss some? Miss some people? Mercalator, thank you for the biddies. I'm curious if we can sit in another Hermits and Holiday. I feel like he's just beautiful. We talked about that. Okay. Thank you, Mercalator. I appreciate that. Will Style, thank you for the $20. Do not read. Yeah, you got it, Will Style. I appreciate it. I really do, actually. We want, we want an exact release date. Um, <clears throat> summer 2023. There's your release date. Will you play the game yourself or will it be boring to you? It definitely will not be boring to me. Uh, you guys are going to get sick of me playing it because I'm going to be playing it a lot in streams. Quite honestly, when I feel like the game's close to launch, probably that week before, all I'm going to be doing is playing it, playing it, playing it and measuring and looking at the statistics because that's one of the things, I don't know if we'll get to it today, probably not. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I really want to do is add statistic quantifiers, things to track data for the game. How many times did this happen in that run? That, that sort of thing. Um, and words, what was I saying? Oh, will I play? Yes, I will be playing a lot for balancing purposes. Uh, what was the question about death ratio? I thought I just saw it. Oh, uh, what Etho win death ratio you're aiming for? Etho's win death ratio is not similar to other people's win death ratio. Um, overall, not for a specific person, a win death ratio, I would like, you know, 60, 70% success, I think is good. You don't want them to win too much. Oh, we can't have snow on the ceiling. Makes no sense. Um, you don't want them to win too much, but at the same time, you have to make them, you have to make it where they lose enough where they're constantly afraid. That's pretty much where we're at. I, I know, honestly, the pressure on Etho is ridiculous. Like, everyone is just holding him as the, the gold standard of the ultimate player. And, and he probably will be, but I feel bad for the guy for all the pressure on him. Your money's on Scar. That's a, that's a bet. God, the roof's getting too tall over here. Can't even move. It's, 
good. It's gonna the winner. The winner of decked out is gonna be the person who enjoys it the most. That's 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 really what it comes down to. <clears throat> Whoever enjoys the game the most is gonna be the one that's gonna really invest the time into it. Is really gonna get excited about building their uh, building their deck out, building multiple decks. I mean, the the top tier players are gonna have multiple decks. They're gonna have an ember an ember farming deck. They're gonna have a deep dive deck. They're gonna have a a security deck, one that's really safe because they're gonna go try and do something in the dungeon that's not related to the artifact. They're gonna have all these different, you know, and they're gonna, that's how it's really gonna go. And that's cool. Like someone's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm going for this legendary card this time. And they're gonna pull out their safe deck and it's gonna have tons of anti-hazard, anti-clank in it. Uh, and it's gonna be focused on just getting them down to where they need to be. And they'll probably, you know, go with like an easy, artifact because they really don't want to be focusing on the artifact they want to be focusing on getting the resources for the for the the uh the legendary card and and that's great i think that's fantastic <clears throat> you want to play so bad i know i know it's like if there was a way that I could let everyone play somehow, that'd be fantastic. But I don't know that that's possible. No, that'll definitely be a world download. Yeah. Next out two on Titancraft. I the. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, how many guys are around for the Techtopia release. And I did. I, I put up some Techtopia servers for patrons. Uh, and it was a huge success for everybody. Uh, and I thought about doing that again. But the problem is Techtopia is just install the mod and let people play. Techtop requires a little bit of maintenance and running it and, and things like that. So... Yeah. I can only imagine by the sheer popularity of it, I would need 15 servers running full time and it's, it's not possible. It's not possible. Not possible. It was awesome and laggy. Yeah, it was. It was both things. Both of those are true statements. It was super laggy, but still super awesome. <clears throat> a new patron tier then yeah maybe maybe Moza we'll see it's not even on my mind or radar or anything yet uh let's go with some I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm definitely not doing as good of a job here as I I could be doing on this roof because not focusing on clustering co correctly or stone variation I'm just reading chat But it, I mean, I think it's going to turn out fine anyways, I, th I think. <clears throat> Get whitelisted on Hermitcraft? Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, what are we, we going to whitelist 10,000 people? I mean, yeah. Uh, I need a... Am I out of diorite? Poo! That's what I wanted right now was diorite. Um, let's do a little snow here. No one will be looking at the roof. I know. That's why I just bah, bah, I just want to kind of get <clears throat> get it done. It, it's very uh yeah, it's definitely gonna need some help down here. This room is kind of kind of bad. Diorite Poodle, <laughs> you are here! Thank you. <clears throat> did Doc play the original deck out at all? I don't remember. I don't either. I think he did.
Why don't you use shulker boxes full of decked out block pallets? Wouldn't that save you time? Uh, I am generally bad at using shulker boxes. I, I, I'm just, I've never really been comfortable with like having shulker boxes full of one resource and constantly juggling the contents of them and stuff. I know it's probably the efficient way to play, but I don't know. It's not for me. Just like I'm super bad at managing my hotbar and stuff too. And I don't use, I don't use, I don't use the right hand, the offhand slot at all. And oh, who, what? How did I just take damage there? Hey, listen, if you need manly squeals, you're, you're you come to the right place. Nothing but heroic battle cries here. Uh, oh, hey, look, that's not done at all. Ever fix the invisible slime issue? I think that one's just gone down as a mystery. I have no idea what caused that. And they just stopped. I think it was a temporary... I swear, I saw that. I don't even know what the polls are, Genesis, quite honestly. Uh, let's get some of this in here. Da, da, da. Uh, and let's go with some cobble here. Did I not use enough ice? I feel like I didn't use enough. Oh, this ceiling is horrible. Gah! Streamer ceiling! He went 30, 30 minutes and 45 seconds between manly streams. <laughs> All right, let's get some regular ice here. Get a little bit of texturing, a little bit of spiky spiky. dark up there we will fix this just yet minecraft should make ice the lactites i totally agree just just put it just take the dripstone give it a nice texture and then throw it in the game it needs it don't try force things are going great things are going great all right i don't like this cobble thing here so let's mix that up a little bit find the regular ice there it is uh let's go over here Yiggy. too short story of my life eh. i can reach i can totally reach there we go whoops okay <clears throat> That was the clank of Cater's randomizing. Okay. Is the evening? Wow, it is. Uh, all right. I don't like this patch here, and we missed the patch over there still. Once we're done with this room, though, we'll be moving on to the uh, to the crypt. Oh God, Dango! What? 
What did I, what did I do? <laughs> why, why did he oh god me? Skulls are gonna change how they power bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. And waterlogged shriekers. <laughs> I mean, like we said, though, <laughs> this is definitely a this is definitely a, a prankster update for sure. <clears throat> Again, I don't know how much I really need to change. Again, because of like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the waterlogged shriekers for not for clank detection. All right, we're almost done with this room. Raiders, impulse raid. Welcome, people. Welcome, unofficial impulse raid, of course, of course. I think I think this is good enough right here, right? Again, no no one's gonna be looking at the ceiling. They're gonna be too busy worried about. Oh, I don't like that one block there. <laughs> that one block there. <clears throat> How you doing, Nippy? Do that and let's go with a little bit of so a little bit of ice cluster around this. Oh wow, that just darkened everything up there. Did I, I must have just killed a a lichen. <clears throat> okay, now we check light levels. How we doing? How we doing? Okay, over there. Excellent. Light levels, light levels. I think we're good in this room. Let me check the roof. We're good on the roof. All right, next room. Oh, actually, we're done, right? Did I, because this is all done here, I think already. I did this one originally. Yeah, oh, this, <laughs> this isn't nearly as good as the other rooms. These rooms are so much more spiky. I like them better. <clears throat> you missed a snow layer on the floor? Oh, this? It's fine. I'm okay with there being stone there. In fact, let's just... We'll do that. Is the PA system able to play music just... <laughs> the PA system, I like it. Lost symmetry. Uh, able to play music just randomly. Uh, just that plays the Ravager Grunt. The arena seems very quiet. Well, I, I kind of want it to be quiet. First of all, I want you to be able to hear the cards. I want you to be able to hear the Ravagers. Um, you got to know when you generate Clank. There's a lot of sounds already going on. With that said... I am still entertaining the idea of some kind of ambient sound that is contextual based on the level. I think that would add so much, you know, icy cave sounds when you're in here. And then when you go in the crypt, um, it starts playing ghostly noises and stuff. That would add just add so much to the quality of the game and the, and the ambience. Is it required? No, but I think it would be pretty awesome. You know, I really, really want like undead ghostly noises or groans when you go into the crypt. I want it to feel like a crypt. It doesn't really feel like a crypt right now. I want you to know that like there's dead things here. You know, there's spirits and, and weird things and stuff. That's totally what I want. <clears throat> and then the ice cracking sounds. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's clean out some of our blocks here because we need to get rid of the ice now. Now, by the way, now that I just put that roof on, it's going to get much harder to move around in here. It's actually becoming a difficult thing to get into, to get into the dungeon now. All right, all I want is stone and andesite. And we'll take some gold like in two. Again, super cutting corners on the crypt ceiling. It's just going to be flat and we're just going to randomize the andesite and stone just to get it done. <clears throat> You need marked entry points. What I do need is like, I need like uh, staff, staff entrances in various places where I could just drop in. Your wife brought you a mocha blast. You're so happy. Oh, evil. That sounds great. That sounds, that sounds amazing. Timmy Tech. 
Hey, Timmy Tech TV, how are you? Which level is the icy one? Level one. Level one is the frozen crypts, icy caves, snowy, and undead crypty graveyard mausoleum kind of thing. Level two is the Caves of Carnage, just kind of a hodgepodge of random caves, lava themes, dangerous areas, underground waterways, and stuff like that. Level three is the Black the black Mines, which will be very deep slate, blackstone oriented. Um, and level four, I don't know. I have a couple of ideas kicking around. Both level three and level four very much depend on Warden Science. For those that are new. Let's put our P. Sherman away because we don't want to lose that. Hello, what did I miss? Uh, we're just doing some roofing stuff, getting the roof done on level one. Uh, yeah, how am I going to get in here now? What's my new go-to way to get into the dungeon? I need, I need, because I was just swooping in over there. Let's see. I need to open up a... I need to open up a access way... Let's see. Piston doors. Yeah, I need something like that. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Break blocks. Enter. Uh, okay. Here's the problem is I think there's only one blocks one block clearance between where the roof needs to actually be and the space I have to walk. All right, so I start oh, I wanted to bring some cobble down too. Yeah. So this is basically the simple roof I wanted to go with, just randomizing some clusters of andesite and smooth stone, super simple. Um, but then I was thinking about putting some patches into it and actually smooth stone would look even better cuz that's a bit jarring. Let's get some smooth stone slabs and some andesite slabs. And that'll help, that'll help add a little bit of variance. Add a little bit of depth, I should say. Not texture variance, but a little bit of depth by doing top slabs. What's up, Dead Knight? Yeah, we're doing ceilings. Uh, and andesite. Wait, that was, that was andesite. Let's do regular stone. Good enough. <clears throat> Better to get a flat ceiling and come back and texture it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I. No, I'd rather just do it while I'm up there. I don't want to have to do it from below. It's not it's not hard to just swap in some slabs on the on the top slab. This is getting this is going to be I definitely need a better way in and out. Okay, we will start here. Uh, other things on the list today, for those that are wondering. Uh, I think after this, I might put the the bells in for Beast Sense. I got to figure out the location for those. I'm hoping we can cover the entire level one and two with four bells. But we're going to have to do some sphere magic for that. Um, and then I might start laying down some tracks to get the evokers into all of their high D positions. Yeah, see, I can't even get up here now. <laughs> Can you imagine random poke holes I just pop in? Hey, how's it going in there? Are you dead yet? All right, andesite. Let's get let's get this bar straightened out here. I want stone. Slabs. No, okay, so those four slots are what we want to randomize. <clears throat> put some powdered snow on the roof as a secret entrance. That's actually a good idea. And then I can put some blocks around the outside of it so I know where it is. And I just jump in. I could do that in a bunch of places. Very good idea, Tier. That's too much work, Dead Knight. That's way too much work. Okay, so now we just do a little bit of slabbies like this. Go back to stone. Da, 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 da. Slab, slab. Da, da. Do, do, do. Uh, 
do hey what oh interesting you can't i did learn something every day holding shift you can't walk onto scaffolding like i'm holding shift right now and forward and it's just like nah i'm keeping you safe i suppose because that means i would fall down interesting did not know that And let's throw a torch vacator up here because some of this is going to get awfully dark. Since you may have slimes, I don't know you think about making a slime ball one of the ingredients of a card. Absolutely, Master Maylock. Absolutely. That will be one of the things. A lot of them, what I, uh, quite honestly, for the legendary crafted cards, what I want is a lot of things that are r rare. Like I'm going to do a slime ball. I'm going to do uh, glow ink right uh this way it's like even once you know the recipe you can't really just go for it it's going to be the kind of thing that you keep in the back of your head and then when the opportunity arises you just divert everything like if you if you're in there by the boat and you see a glow squid in the lake i want the player to go oh, there's a glow squid here and and just totally panic and get all excited and just divert everything and go get that glow squid and now go for the legendary card like that'll just amp up the excitement i think i think it'd be really good some of them will be like that. Other ones will be like, just, you know, go get them and you can you can actually get it done, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. A bat head, you'd have to punch it. Uh, okay, I think that room is done. Yes. All right, let's go back out here now. Oh, you know, mob drop is from the dungeon and not somewhere else because they can't take it into the dungeon with them. You can't take anything into the dungeon with you. That is not enforced, but it is the rules. So if they have a bat head or something, then they clearly got it from the game. Uh, stone and a site. allowed to punch spiders uh i mean the general rule is going to be don't punch anything i think so i'll probably avoid mob heads and stuff like that just because i don't want to get into like some mobs you can punch and some you can't i think it's better to just say don't don't attack anything you you are the you are the the hunted You are the prey. Yeah, that's the word. I, that's the word. That's the scarier sounding word. Uh, play. I gotta be careful because like right... Where is it? No, oh, maybe it's not right here. Somewhere above was like... A, oh, that's it. Over here. You wanna see something scary? GD cam? Where is it? Hold on. Uh, wait. I'm lost. Where's my card processor? Uh, yeah. All this redstone... Like the heart of the insanity redstone. Where is it? There's like a huge pot. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All of that is completely full of water. One but boop. Oh, I just, I need to be careful over there. <laughs> Don't want any part of that. Good lord, fix that. I know, right? I need to go in there with like some sponges or something. All right, I can't move in here. Brrr, horn's going off! Fireblade, thank you. This is totally no reason for the... There was totally no reason for this apart from reasons. Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it's a soap opera.
Thank you, Fireblade. Appreciate your support. <laughs> I'm stuck! I, I hope this is safe. I'm breaking blocks so that I can place blocks. Get rid of the water cave. It's not it's not over here. Super dark. Oh, we're gonna have to get some torch torches. <clears throat> I do feel guilt because I feel like this room should have a better ceiling as it as it is the prominent entrance to the crypt. However, time dictates otherwise. Stefan Kramer with a piece of pie. Uh, isn't it possible that there will be too much sounds playing at the same moment? So some music discs, so some music isn't recognizable or even doesn't play. Yeah, there is a maximum amount of uh, audio that can play at once. My audio channels that can play in the Minecraft system. Absolutely. <clears throat> there is a chance that I guess a lot of the things overlap at the same time and some of the sounds don't get played because you're already at maximum. Uh, absolutely. Could happen. Uh, if it happens a lot, then I will address it. I think it's going to be a very rare occurrence right now, though, if I'm honest. But we will see. That's something that, that's very much something that comes from playtesting. How about... There we go. Let's do this. Of course, I'm going to get popped up in a second here. Well, hello there. What's up, Robbie? Hey, film guy. How was hockey? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had hockey yesterday. It was the first practice in the new league, in the D League. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Well, let's just say I am in the uh, bottom 10 percentile for sure. <laughs> there are some there are some good players on the ice and I got embarrassed a couple times. But that's OK. It was fun. It was tons of fun. <clears throat> hockey or ice hockey? What, what is hockey? There is only one type of hockey, and that is the ice hockey. Unless you mean field hockey, but. I don't think I look like a field hockey player. And a sight. Honestly, I'm pretty happy that we're finally going to have a roof. This means level one is finally 100% complete. There's street hockey, I suppose. Yeah. With rollerblades and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent structurally built, yeah. As far as I know. <laughs> and I suppose I should be the one that knows. Oh, actually, no. I lied. The uh, the TNT tunnel isn't done. The dreaded TNT tunnel of regret that I have no idea what I'm doing with. What's wrong with the tunnel? It's not done, and I don't know what I want to do with it. The the, the TNT uh, drop tunnel. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
if it's going to continue to be a shortcut or just access to another area or what. I'm very indecisive about that. <clears throat> you heard a ding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's probably warned me 700 times that my pick's going to break. Making progress. Progress is being made. Could it have its own key entrance? I, I, I don't really want to get into making more keys. Trying to think of what other getting the evokers in is going to be a pain because they have to be in very tight quarters and like I'm gonna have to like roll them up on a minecart into a spot and then I think if I if there's no uh, like because I have to they then break the minecart to get them out of there maybe I could leave them in the minecart actually I gotta see what the height is if I could just leave them in the minecart that'd be great I didn't think about that oh whoops Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Just look for a way to leave them in a minecart. Because you're not going to see the bottom half of them anyways. <laughs> Just accept that Impulse will have to be sacrificed to get them into place. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Torches! Torches have lit things down below! I hear running water. That makes me sad. Yeah, placing a torch there was probably not a good idea. I don't think it caused any damage. Probably lost some lichen or something like that, but that's it. Do need to put torches over here though. Block off some light. redstone is the best redstone it's, it's good you know you gotta like this is a hazard door here two hazard door redstones here all right almost done with this area i can't reach slab here da, 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 da. and finish it off with andesite okay uh i think we're kind of looking good i don't know if we like it maybe it's just better flat Don't overthink it. I know. It needs a curve. It does need a curve. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's something that's not happening. It should, it should have a little dome here or something. Kind of like this room back here. I mean, like this room is way fancy. 
And this room is meh. <laughs> it's not MVP, I know. The, it's the light leaking in the slabs that feels meh. Uh, James C. No, it's a, um, what is it? Mini HUD. Yeah. Still has a big hole. Oh. Yeah, this is this is horrendous. Moving on. Let me see. Let me see the first experience here. Ceiling light does detract from your eyes a little bit. I could like I could have just made it smooth stone across the whole thing and it wouldn't I could put a block above the slab, yeah. But if I blocked over all the slabs, right? Use lichen up top on the inside or the outside. Like an inside? It feels like that might be weird. Oh, soul lanterns on chains. I like where you're going there, I think. Let's 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 dabble with that. It won't take too long. Let's get some soul lanterns on chains at various heights. I've always I've always been a big fan of the, the alternating height chains. chandelier a chandelier in a crypt feels a bit weird uh oh no i have to know how to make these stupid things uh, uh i can never remember right it's with nuggets all around soul torch which is coal and soul soil uh, nether? Nether? Nether. Nether. Soul. Soul. Soil? Please tell me I have soul soil. Soul soil. Excellent. Uh, and coal. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. And then nuggies, right? All right, let's get rid of some andesite. I have lanterns. I'm probably, I probably do. I probably do. I probably have lots of lanterns. I probably looked right at them. You have lanterns. Lanterns in the nether chest. Oh my gosh. Where are they? Bam. Totally had lanterns in there. Powers of observation. Unparalleled. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Okay, that's enough. Uh, let's get let's get some walls for the like anchor uh, and a and a site wall and I was totally just testing you guys yeah of course I knew there was a bunch in the chest all along. Okay, now I feel like this should be basically ran should it be now it wouldn't be random random heights but not random locations. So let's let's figure out the locations first. 
I think two two columns. I'm thinking like six lanterns, maybe. On either side of the pathway. I'm obviously like above me, but like one there. I'm just I'm just eyeballing this right now. Let's see. And then one. If we did that. Six, let's see, let's see how that looks. Oh, I don't need more scaffolding. <clears throat> Four short and one long in the middle. Uh, Yeah, maybe, maybe. And maybe we kick this one out a little bit too, just to... And then we do this one here in the middle. Kind of like out of a little bit of curvature. I like that. Uh, okay. All right, so I'm thinking of going. And to say. Wall. Chain. Different blocks. What do we think? I feel is this blending in with the ceiling too much. I could do a polished andesite for the for the base there. <laughs> Genesis, thanks, thanks for that wisdom. It, it needs something. The regular andesite is blending in with the ceiling too much. Gold. Mm, no. Blackstone. Chandelier's not happening. Oh, deep slate to match the other columns. That's I see what you're saying there. Maybe so. Maybe this guy here. What is that? What is that? This is the uh, chiseled deep slate. Yeah, let's try that. That might that might contrast with the with the ceiling too much, but we'll give it a try. Pink glazed terracotta. Why didn't I think of it? Uh, deep slate. Okay, I need. Chiseled deep slate. I'm sure I'm not sick. There we go. There's two. Do I? Let's just make some. And then we want some walls. Probably the polished variety, right? So we're looking at that that this is inverted of course yeah that works for me that's good enough let's try that i'm trying to go in the way i come out oh that's too difficult for me can't pull it off this is this is oh i'm already tired of this entrance and this stuff now Definitely gonna do the uh, the snow thing, so I can just fall in wherever I want. Oh, should have got more scaffolding. Absolutely, yep. Okay, uh, doink, doink, chain. That works for me. Should probably have like something around it too, like a framing or something. I could even see like lowering it a block. Let me just experiment here. This might this might bring it too low, but uh, and I should have other blocks for this. Like, but what if I did? Uh, was it this one? No. Wait, what? Ah! If I did that, that I feel I feel like there should be stairs there or something. But this is just to add a little bit more, a little bit more anchoring to it. But I fear that this might start be lowering it too much. You see, like I like the little extra anchoring again. F solid blocks. I would use I would use stairs around there. But it's too it's too low now, though, right? So I think we just stick with what we had. Maybe some slabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. A 
could go... Yeah, I mean, I don't have the slabs on me, but if these were... If these were deep slate slabs... Yeah, that's the answer. Let's go get some deep slate slabs. And some scaffolding. And a new pick. Yeah, probably. Uh, deep slate slabs. Where are they? Which ones? I think polished. Polished would be best. Do I have any more polished made? 36. That should be enough. That's enough for nine chains, which is more than we plan on doing. That's good, that's good. Get rid of the chains, get rid of the coal. Uh, okay. Did you record all the voiceovers uh, for what? The cards? Most of them. Yeah, let's get it, let's get it, let's get a new pick. Uh, we got the slabs, we got the scaffolding, we got the pick, we're good. Is Etha really washed? That couldn't be anything farther from the truth. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. I'm liking this. Dead Knight, was it your idea to do this? If so, I appreciate it. Because this is this is the hotness right here. Minimal minimal work to make the ceiling look acceptable. Or at least help it out a lot so it's not completely plain. Yep. Alright, let's continue this. <clears throat> I uh, legit I am blown away that Gem is as good as she is in PvP. I had no idea. I I just assumed she would be garbage and she is legendary at it and now I'm a little terrified. Incredible. Uh okay, give me one of that 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 and we got to fix that block, put that there, put that there. I don't like that. Do that, 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 and that, that, and that, and chains. It'd be nice if I just had all this stuff on my bar and didn't have to keep swapping every three seconds. That, that. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go two chains here. Double chain! PvP isn't my specialty. It's, you know, it's a work in progress. And that feels poopy. Too close to the thing. She wrecked face. I didn't even see it, but it sounds pretty amazing. Hello, doctor. All right, this is the one where we're going to drop it down a little bit more. I don't like these next to the thing where the slabs are going to be. Let's go that, 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 good enough, and that, lower my face, am I doing this right? Nope, I'm off, ah! Okay, gotta be right there, right? Yes, I think. Do, 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 do. Chain. We'll go chain again because we're crazy like that. And bam. Oh, we double chained everybody. Cuckoo for Cocoa Buff. How you doing? 
Uh, one of one of uh, Gem's recent videos, she like she destroyed like Etho like many times and a couple other people. It was crazy. At least you didn't triple chain him, Mosul. Nobody triple chains. You can't triple chain a double chain. Okay. Mm, this guy goes right there. Break you, do that. Slabby, jabby, dibby, dibby. I fell. It's very dark up here. I don't know if you noticed that or not. And now, wait for it. We're gonna single chain. We're gonna single chain. Oh, symmetry broken. Ah! <laughs> oh, speak of the E. I'm crazy like that, I know. I'm unhinged today. I'm just single chaining when I should be double chaining. A mess. Did that touch over there? It sure did. Okay. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, boom. Single chain. What are your thoughts on Lilo and Stitch? I don't know much about it. I saw the I saw the thing going around lately where I was compared to Stitch. That's probably that's probably a fair fair assessment. I watched a few episodes, but I don't know much about it. Ah, uh, the triple chain, it's hanging too low. I don't know if I can tolerate it. I think it might need to become a zero chain. Look at it from the... It's off the chain. I mean, we agree they can't all be double chains, right? Like that front one's going to be either... The front one might be a triple chain. But that's just too low. What if, what if we get real crazy and single chain or no chain it? I mean, there's a little chain. There's just a little chain. I think we're good. <laughs> it's just a little wee chain. <laughs> a little stubby chain. Or no lantern. Oh, you're right. They would have fallen apart through the years. What if we just, what if we double chain? Or single chain and just. Eh, look. We're, we're getting crazy now, guys. Like, I mean, you might want to, you might want to stop and take a breath. If you need to pause the stream for a while and take a breather from the excitement, I, I understand. But we might be double chaining without a lantern at this point. This is where we're at. It's insanity. It's insanity. We are completely unhinged here today, folks. Mind blown. I know. I know. I understand if you if you need to take a moment or just, you know, even come back next week when you're in a better place. I will understand. It's a lot to take in in one stream. It's like, wait a minute. I thought he was just making a roof. He didn't tell me he was going to double chain. Double chaining. Uh, can we get away with a double... I think we can get away with it in the front here, right? Because there's no, there's no, there's no nonsense. There's no ledge. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, we gotta do the center one. We gotta do the center one. I forgot. 
Uh, and could we do something a little special on this one? I mean, don't, don't say chandelier. Chandelier's not happening. <laughs> you can't just double chain willy nilly. Oh, there's willies and dillies. These chains are so full of nillies that they're begging for a willy. All right. Chain it. Nope. 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 All right. Where's where's my ground? Ooh, okay. I was right over top of it. Okay, let's see. Should it just be the same thing or? Oh, it's not centered, how embarrassing. Right, three blocks, two blocks, oh no. Oh no, it's not symmetrical. This whole build is off as an even based build. And I'm very sad for it. Hey, who's, who's slime? Hey, buddy. So we need something that is even based. Didn't need a center chain anyways. I, maybe you're right. Maybe that's how we solve the problem. Boom. I think we're good. Well, I can't leave the thing there now. Now it's just embarrassing. He's like, well, what about me? I could have been a chain too. No. Nope. No chain for you. All right. Let's bust out these torches. And we will evaluate our amazing ceiling of supremeness. Fantastic. Wonderful. I'm ready to move in and stuff. Is there Brody here? Hi, Brody. How are your zeros doing today? The torches do help a lot, though, honestly. Oh, the broken chain. I love the broken chain. How's light levels? Should be fine. So there's this pro move right here, right? If a Ravager is on your butt or something, you give it the, the wall hop. Uh, pro, when I say pro, I mean someone else can do it. Hey, okay. Parkour champion, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That move right there. Take a little damage. Pro evasive maneuvers. Who are you again? Oh, hi. Hi, Brody Man. Hey, everybody. Brody Man used to be a streamer here on Twitch. It was good times. You should have followed him back in the day. Alrighty. We're done. Oh wait, we got more. We have more. Oh, I forgot. Taking away my crown. I mean, did I ever really deserve it in the first place? Let's be honest. Nope. He streamed last night. He did not. Streamed last night, and I didn't get like a public. He did. I was even looking last night. Was it like it? Boom! Bo 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 hey, calm down there, deep sleep boy. Uh, was he? Was he streaming like one a.m. or something? Normal time, the midnight. Brody, did you play that deceit thing? I really want to see that be played. What's up, Jago? I'm doing fantastic. Play Dinkum. Playing Deceive tonight. You're streaming two days in a row? What is even happening? Excellent. I will be viewing this evening. I kind of feel like I should have more hanging torches now. Or tor or, or, or tor do torch word lantern. We should have more hanging lanterns. The broken chain is a lantern on the ground beneath it. Nah, the wardens would have crushed that a lot. Or the, the ravagers would have crushed that into oblivion a long time ago. Words are hard. They usually are.
Placing the blocks. Placing them so, so good. I think this is our last room. I mean, don't look now, but... Oh no, oh no, have I, have I mistooketh? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> My ceiling's too low. Whoops. Oh, that's why. The wall's higher over there. What, what is even ha- wait a minute, no, hold on, that was right. <gasps> I hate everything. It was fine. This wall's too high. Stupid, too high. Why don't we just do it from down here? How about that? Probably easier. Am I doing it correct now? I think we're doing it correct. <clears throat> Duke Duke, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> that's like, that's my curse now. No matter what I do, there's always the, the, the little saying. Designs decked out, because that's the new standard of what I can do. And then can't do something basic, right? You know, it's how many times have I heard that little phrase, that little bit, meme, whatever you want to call it. That's me. Oh, we're out of andesite. Hey, Shrieker, Shriek elsewhere. Do we have this room to do too? Oh, we got through this stupid room. Ah, it's looking very uh, spooky in here, though. How are we, how are we doing on the spookometer? Do you guys think anyone will ever fall in this lava pit? And then don't say scar. <laughs> don't, say, don't say scar, because I knew everyone was going to say scar. I don't think anyone will. Maybe if you're pushed, Brazzerty man. Yeah. Sure. We should, we should, that's what you guys should have a poll on. Long-term poll. Who will be the first player to fall in one of these lava pits? And I need to have odds. Apparently, like, Scar's, Scar's pushing, like, the even odds right now. And then, you know, we got to get, like, Corrales with the, with the five to one or something. I know polls don't work like that. I will be very surprised if, if someone falls in. We'll just we'll just say that. Uh, all right, how do I get out of here? Hey, everybody, Clank. <laughs> Remember that time we thought we were gonna get a lot done on the stream today? Go figure. Someday I'll learn that whatever you plan on doing, you will only do the thing that is first on the list. Everything else will not happen. Stone, 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 stone. Okay. <clears throat> we did, we've made ceilings everywhere, yeah. Oh, absolutely noises. I, I guarantee Etho will jump into that lava pit. He's going to jump into both those lava pits because in Decked Out 1, I made a secret through the lava and it took him a while to figure it out and get the guts to try it. And when he finally did, it was a secret passage. This time won't be. He's just going to kill himself. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, Hey, look, amazingness. Oh, Tarzan, uh, that is not me. That's 100% drop to base. Doing the Fallen one on the TC server. I haven't, I haven't touched that at all. That's 100% him, and it's amazing. Swimmer dude, thank you for the two gift subs. Thank you so much. Kaizen, thank you for 13 months. Compton, thank you for five gift subs. And Timmy Tango Tech TV. That's a lot of T's. I can't, it's getting to the point where I can't pronounce that. Timmy Tango Tech TV. 
Uh, headed to a meeting. I couldn't come up with anything clever. Have some pie. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I need to put a secret path under the lava that leads to a sign mock. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I should do that. I should have it open up below and look like it's a secret. And then you follow this winding tunnel, winding tunnel, and it just gets to the end. And it's just like, and, and then I put, I put a waterlogged shrieker to detect when he gets to the end. And I just drop the floor out. <laughs> that's, that's totally what we need to do. That would be fun. Because you know we would get him. Yeah. And the sign could say, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Because we know it's going to be Etho who goes down there and explores that. Etho very much is the, the explorer of the group. Let me get some more torches here. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to make some uh, some Etho only content. <clears throat> directly into the void. Yeah, because that's easy. Well, I, I would never drop Etho into the void because he's a master at somehow escaping that. When Etho falls into the void, he, he just laughs at it and finds a way to fly out. I love these, these, here we go. Sarcophagus, crypt, tomb, coffin, whatever. I love these things. I just hate that they're too wide. I wish there was an inside to them. Like I wish they were three wide and I could make them three wide, but it just, it got too clunky. I would like to hide things inside them. This is almost good down here, but it's a bit too high. <clears throat> no ender pearls this time, I know, right? What do I think of Pearl's part of the dungeon? We've talked about it. I think it's fantastic. I think Pearl is... Oh, who, who said this? Scar? Scar. There's builders and then there's like... Pearl is just an artist. I think, I think Scar coined that term first and it's so accurate. When Pearl builds something, it's like... It's not just a good build. It's just this creative work of art that just kind of is something new and organic unto itself. And it's amazing. And that's the difference. Oh, I, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Give me back my cobwebs. Yeah, I can still touch you, right? Eventually. Eventually. Hello? Come on. Come on. Is it shears only? Aha! Does P. Sherman have shears? That's oh. so touch. Stupid cobweb. You like how I, I turned out to not like the the uh, the top slabs in the last build, and here I am repeating the process again, just so that I can be disappointed with it again. That's how we work here, kids. Okay, actually, that's that's good. It's fine. In fact, we're gonna do a little bit more. Definition of insanity, yeah, something like that. Okay, light levels. I said light levels, just to make sure. I think we're still good in here. We are. It's a roof. It's a ceiling. It's all of the above. Last room. Oh no, we got to do this whole hallway. Hey everybody, we're gonna do that off stream and we're going to move on now because I'm done with ceilings. Turn off that. Whoa. Okay. 
Moving on to project number two. Once I put my bits away. I made rockets. Sword. Did, did I put the sword in the thing? Boop. Thank you. Okay. Brain. What do we want to do? We're going to let's put some bells in and play with shapes. Am I still alive? What just happened? Oh, that was so weird. That must be some Windows thing I don't know about. Every window on three of my monitors, everything just got minimized. I've never seen that before. Hang on while I bring everything up again. That's so weird. Did I do Windows D? No, it doesn't do nothing. I shook my mouse. I don't think that's it. That was really weird. Like OBS, everything was just like, boo. Anyways, let's hope that doesn't happen again. That was disturbing. Okay. Uh, bells. I definitely didn't hit Windows M. Windows D shows desktop. Yeah, no, that Windows Windows D doesn't show desktop because I'm Windows Ding very hard right now. Uh, all right. Four of these guys. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's 2023. Can the Alt F4 joke stop, please, Internet? Please, I beg you. That was fun in 1998. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, uh, never, I know, never. Now, hang on here. All right, this is, we're figuring this out on stream and brain and stuff. So I think I might try to start by putting them on these guys. Let me try now. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna turn on the shapes. We're gonna add a shape. So bells, the wiki is weird. It says if there is a glowable mob within 32 blocks when the bell rings, it will give the glow to everyone within 48 blocks. So I think, I think we're just gonna assume a 48 block radius. <clears throat> Alt F4 definitely works. I thought you were going for an MVP with no bells uh, <laughs> and whistles. Well, the, the Beast Sense card is, I, I want the Beast Sense card in because it's such a core part of the gameplay. I think it's a very powerful card. I think it's underrated. Uh, I want to get it in and working and I think it's a good thing to do, quite honestly. So we're going to set here. We're going to go radius 48 and we'll make these all yellow. Weird. I have to hit escape for the color to update. Uh, enabled on. Okay. So, GD game. This one covers quite a bit of the dungeon. That one note block. I think, I think, excuse me while I belch. Covers quite a bit of the dungeon. So, I think if I put these on my four tunificators here, that this might just work out perfectly because I think I don't know what I think hang on we're, we're gonna try it all right so let's bell up we should probably actually bell up because I'm, I'm not gonna I gotta run redstone to this and everything so realistically this is probably gonna be a little bit higher but whatever it's fine this is just for testing uh so we'll do another one HC Sphere, add, 
configure set here 48 yellow ish escape render on now four so now you can see how we basically got like there's a couple blocks there couple blocks there but this is pretty good coverage <clears throat> and i think if we do two more over here we should be good <clears throat> the evokers will glow too yeah uh yeah i forgot about that but they glowed in they glowed in uh decked out one i think <clears throat> in the end everyone's gonna know where the i mean Am I going to throw away the whole B-Sense concept just because the evokers are going to glow too? It is annoying though, you're right. I don't know. I wish I could filter that somehow. Ah, that annoys me. And it, and it annoys me because yes, eventually everyone will know where the evokers are, but the problem is now they will actually learn where the evokers, <clears throat> they will learn where the evokers are because of a beast sense card. It's one thing to like, oh, they popped up and I've seen them there two or three times and now they glow. That's fine. You're like, I knew it was there. But now as soon as they hit a beast sense card the first time, it's like, oh, why are there all these evokers around me? And that is kind of poop sauce. Active overs on a mine track? Nah. With good level design, it won't matter. I don't understand how what level design's got to do with it. They show up no matter where they are, Dead Knight. I mean, if the Vokers are in range, which they have to be, they're going to be seen. Oh, oh, I thought you meant in deck that one, you can you can circumvent them. Yeah, you cannot circumvent them in, in the current layout. I thought you meant the level design would make make having them be revealed by glow not relevant. <clears throat> Mrs. T, correct, it is. Benny, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. I it's a shame. It really is a shame. I wish you could like right click on the bell and it would say beasts beasts only evokers only you know and i could go through modes of, and it would be like all illagers right and i could and there would just be a simple nbt flag on the bell that determined what types of mobs it would glow that'd be awesome but i get it make a mod for that yeah sure i'll just make mods for everything talking about hermitcraft okay anyway Oh, did I, I did set this one up. Yes, let's go down here. Turn this off so I can see what it, I thought it was HC. Someone said decoy evokers. Oh, just have, just have evokers everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I want to be up here nope fear add configure set here 48 a color picker messes with my head okay uh, the, the people being amazing. Where's the, where's the thing with the thing that everything got minimized and I'm sad now. Master Bellock, thank you for $2. If you want to get extra complicated, you can cart the evokers away before you say, nope. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> that is definitely not happening. <laughs> Way too much work. Uh, okay, let's just do the last one and go for it because I think we're on the right track here. Bah, 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 bah. Whoops. Oh no, we can't have that one be off centered. The rage. Do, 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 do. 
figure set here. 48 color yellow sure yes good enable on let us see the coverage I, I honestly think that's good let's let's see what's not inside the sphere a little corner right there it won't get ravagers right there we've pretty much got let's see the overlap right here it won't I think I'm okay with that <clears throat> yes I'm I'm duck farting yeah I think this is I think this is pretty good coverage obviously there won't be ravagers in the starting area I mean this is this is pretty perfect coverage Let's see what we're over here. No, I mean, it's pretty much got everything right there. What about down below? A couple of blocks right here. I mean, 99.9% .9 of the dungeon is included in these spheres. I think we're good. That's fantastic. That was easy. Okay. Uh... Now it does mean I need a whole separate bus line for beast. I'm out of bus lines. I am straight up out of them. I've used 16 and I still need more. I still know. I know I need, I need to do the artifact acquired line and the ugh, get bussing. I know, right? Ugh, I'm not doing that today because that's, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go even lower now. We, we have room to go to go lower and that's fine right I think all we can all go lower there 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 we're fine yeah so I'll, I just add another four down below again wow that's crazy by the way when we added these uh flower fricators here I don't think they're actually working like look how much look how much of the of the happy they're giving off there and like inside here it well actually it's more now than I remember never mind it does seem it does seem quite a bit I would like there be more I might what I'm wondering is do blocks and I think the answer was no but don't do blocks obscure these particles or not I think it might be better to put them like on top of these mushrooms or something like that or or inside yeah put them like inside up in there There's a particle limit. That makes sense, I suppose. I want to I move a couple of these. And we even got some spread out to have like them kind of like fanning out. Let me let me let me just scoot through to look a couple of these guys here. I'm gonna go place them inside here. Did I get four? I got four. Where's my entrance? I'm lost. There it is. So, like I can do... Doink? Oh, look at it. Yeah, there's a lot there now. I want to find like kind of hidden places in these. Good. What's up, Fearless? How you doing? What are your particle options in Optifine? I don't know. This isn't even Optifine. This is uh, sodium. I don't know. Words. Oh, that's a good one there. It's it's very particle-y. Maybe one more up here. Skadoodle. I'm okay with this. It's fine. I don't know if I even changed anything, but you know, so be it. Not available. Yes, yeah, Genesis, not available. Uh, hey, all right, short brain session with brains and storming of the, of the brains. What sort of things 
and I'm gonna regret this. Uh, what sort of things should I do in these air tunnels? I'm not looking for full scale, like entire rooms. I'm thinking, looking for like small scale, little tidbits, things on the walls, like little crystal formations or uh, some clusters of something or something to just give the room something to talk about, you know? More scar heads, yeah. <clears throat> Painting, absolutely not. Paintings are disgusting. Some vines, if I wanted to make it more organic, but I, every time I place vines in here, I'm kind of like, why would vines be growing in this, in this cave? POIs, yeah, thanks doc. That's what we're kind of looking at. Like this room back here is small, but this could definitely have a little bit of flavor. And I think I could even bust this wall out. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of room to bust this wall out bigger if I want right here. So this room could be a full POI back here. Geode inset. I've already got a geode. Fossils. Yeah, fo the problem with fossils is you need a lot of space to make it look good, in my opinion. Chains. Just, just a chain room. I mean, chains can be scary. I'll agree. Ask a hermit to design. I mean, that's what we do with Pearl. We're going to we're going to do more, I think. Like if someone says something that I really like, I'll probably do it right now. But if it's something easy, like chains is easy or skulls. Or veins. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like or veins. It's just changing the texture on the wall. It's not really giving anything. It helps a little bit. Abandoned encampment. I've already got one of those on level one. I could do another one down here, I suppose. Yeah. I don't like piles of chests because it encourages them to go sorting and rifting through all of them just to be disappointed. <clears throat> I mean, I have tons of wither skulls, so I could place them on the walls and stuff, but that's more decor. It's not a it's not a thing. Roots and stalactites. I have stalactite sections of this area, so I don't want to bring that into too many other places. Collapsed mine entrance. I mean, that's level three, really. That's the a wolf den. Interesting. Mumbo torture scene. <laughs> Been there, done that. A skulk area. That's interesting, actually. That's actually interesting. I could, I could, I could, I could even see a whole theme of like skulk is kind of. You know, normally you go into caves and you find mine, you find minerals and ores and stuff. The skulk is like the disease on the caves that is infesting it and everywhere. And I could, I could see, see how we do it like motion right here and it just kind of disperses. I could have skulk formations like, I hate to say it, but almost like cancerous nodes in the, in the, in the cave that get all like a blob of it, but then it fans out kind of like this. And it's just in random places around the dungeon. I, I wonder if that would be too jarring. Isn't Skulk level three? No. Skulk could be level four if I if I stick with the tile set for level four that is Ancient City. But I'm kind of leaning more toward uh, fire and magma and stuff down there, I think. Coffee and tea, a pirate jail. Dead crawl would add a lot of texture too. It would, yeah. Uh, the pirate jail. We have a pirate jail on the boat, and there's so much I want to do with the boat. But we, that that's that's a lot. Another portal in the section of that. Yeah, no, I don't want to go to the Nether. It's all the notifications are off. Everything that you can't go to the Nether. There's too many. There's a billion reasons. A broken portal isn't a bad idea. Like a, a broken Nether room, maybe. And then, and then who knows, maybe we do light it eventually, but better have a skull room to serve as a POI. Have to seen the thing next to the skull room. I don't know what you're saying, Dead Knight. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of because, because the skulk, a skulk thing wouldn't be a POI. It would be more of a, I would do it in like six or seven places around the dungeon, maybe and make it feel like part of the 
curse or the disease on the on the dungeon or on the caves. It's it's something that's happening to the caves due to the evil blah 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 lore lore lore. Mob spawner room. We already got three of those. We already got one of those. Lore. I know. We're not doing a Fifi tribute cave. A dark library. We kind of already got that in level one in the bottom of the crypt. What level are you working on right now? We're just we're on level two right now, Toaster Man. Just talking about ideas of what to make some of this area look better. I do like the idea of a a, a broken nether portal in like a nethery themed area, maybe. That feels like a POI, like a place you would do once, you know, and then they'd be like, hey, did you go to the nether room? Oh, I got my artifact from the nether room. A pile of skulls. You can make a POI where skulls is the focus, like a mound and then just have skulls all on it and twisted in different locations and stuff. Maybe even some armor stands where they're kind of like piling on top of each other. Of wither skulls. That would be interesting. Like just, hey, this is where we collect the skulls. <laughs> An abandoned camp. Yeah. There, like I said, there is an abandoned camp on level one. I'd be pretty much repeating it. But you technically have another room at the base of one of the stairs. Uh, the fire one? I mean, I, I I wouldn't call it nether. This? I mean, honestly, like this might be the theme of level four, but with more lava. More exposed lava. A volcanic area. I, I, I like the idea that, that decked out starts at Deep Frost Citadel and the first layer is frozen ice and everything. And then you have these caves and then you have some deep mines and then you go real deep and it's, you start getting into the core of the earth kind of thing. And it gets to be it gets to be uh, volcanic and fiery. I think that's cool. Plus just the massive advantages of making lava everywhere because the wardens are immune to. I, again, if, if we're going to go with wardens. Yep, Lomax. Oh, we, did, we said geode room. I have a geode room already. A graveyard in, a, in an underground cave doesn't make sense. We have a whole level dedicated to crypts. No reason to do a graveyard. What's in an infinity room? I don't know what that means. You wouldn't have a haunted house in a cave. That's weird. <clears throat> a cave in that that's decent. Yeah. A goblin build. That's that's interesting. Magnus Prime. I like that a lot. Would would, would it be able to be pulled off? Like maybe someone like Pearl could do it. I don't think I could. It would just look plain to me. I'm not doing a polar bear. It's too much work getting one here. <clears throat> Toxic waste. I mean, I can do something like what I did for my slime farm in season seven, I suppose. That's interesting. Odessio, thank you. You can make a sacrificial altar. Skull fits that theme too. And then later have a quest where you have to lure a spider or something and kill it at the altar can detect death with a sensor. Interesting. Interesting. So let's hold on. That's not a bad idea, Desio. So this this cavern right here, right? Completely needs something leading up to we don't go in here much into the spider, the spider den that everyone loves to hate. Hop over here, hop over this, get stuck in the web, get your face. Hello? Oh, I can't move because I'm not on the ground. Hang on. I'm immersed. What's happening? Oh, that was weird. Uh, anyways, come around here. We're, we're going to remove some of these cobwebs. There's a bit too many cobwebs. But what if the idea was you had to lure a spider down here? Is there a room? There is room right here. What if I put a little room? 
put a little room out the side here that you had to be killing a cave spider with your bare hand. That feels pretty difficult. <laughs> and then the rule of not hitting mobs. You're right. Yeah, that is total scope creep. Yep, scope creep. God, that's a good idea, though. Using the detect mob thing. Yeah. I suppose if the room had magma in it or something, I could. I don't know. That's total scope creep, though. It's not it's not for now. Uh, I do need to put something right here. I think I got a little space here. I got a little space back here. I want to put something here that is valuable. I don't know what yet. More reason to come into the spider den. I want I want players to be enticed in here because there's something they can get here. Um, I'm also thinking that I might put lamps in the ceiling and at a different location in the dungeon will be a button that you can press and if you press it for five minutes, the lights will turn on in here so that this area becomes safe, but it's far away. I think that would be really cool. Like you can, if you know you want to come in here, you can go to that other section and disarm the caves and then come all the way back and do whatever it is you need to do here. But yeah, something needs to go right here. Fossil, let's get, we talked about fossils. Spider eggs that are really turtle eggs. <laughs> They'd get crushed, I would imagine. The giant spider queen. I, if I could do that, I would do it. An axolotl pond. That's kind of fun. And easy to do because I could just scoop them up in a bucket, right? And name tag them. Do I have to name tag? Did Axel, they despawn, right? I, I know nothing about water kittens. But what if we have like a little kind of almost like it would almost be too cutesy, right? <laughs> Water cans, that's what they are. Axolotls, would they attack ravagers? I don't think so. You could just buy them. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting them. You rename the bucket. OK. I like that idea. Cause like I was originally going to do like a little frog theme room, but a little axolotl pond and then give their, give them their own little lush environment. Would they stay there? They would stay in the water, right? If I named them. How does, how do they, I know nothing about them. You need to design the pond so they don't climb out. Will they climb out? They can wander away. Will they kill themselves though? Do they wander away so far that they kill themselves? Or will they just automatically stay near the water? If they if they wander around the pond, that's fine. You love the wishing well half of the idea? What's that half? I missed it. I, I want to read everything you guys are saying. It's, I just can't keep up. They always find a way to kill themselves. Does Jem have a... Jem has a, a spot where she's got these? Probably. I don't know. If they would stay alive, this is really, this is a really good idea. But I feel like they're... Oh, a Ravager house or den. That's a good idea too, socially awkward. Hold on, let's put a pin in that one and finish the, the water kitten idea first. Let me, let me see where we might do that. Let's look for a room. I'm trying to think. Uh, first part. We need like a dead end room for this. We have a bunch here, but these rooms are really small. <laughs> the Ravager break room. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm going for. Yeah. Fireblade. 
Uh, I know you already dismissed this idea, but the idea of a collapsed mine actually would be good because even though they're not physically linked to the lore, links to yeah. If I if I did the collapsed mine thing, it would be close to level three. I would do it. I would do a collapsed mine somewhere right around here or something. Like maybe this is the entrance to a mine that's collapsed and it looks like part of level three. Sure. Uh, but around the lake, I have a lot of these like little dead end rooms that you know I'm gonna hide artifacts and stuff in there. But one of the problems is like. This is a no ravager zone, right? So I'm going to put it drown tridents in here, I think. But all these rooms back here, you're pretty much safe. And I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of it's kind of a downside. Um but where can we do the water kittens? I got this upper area here. I've got that. That doesn't make sense. Overlook here. I've got to I've got to slab this and get that protected so you can't climb up or jump off. We've got this nice bridge here. Oh, maybe this room. Maybe this could be water kittens. And then that pillar could be in the middle of their little pond. Interesting. So like you could walk around the perimeter of the lake. Pond, whatever. And there's a little pond there with like little lily pads and stuff like that. It's weird, right? Where else? I mean, it could be here and then the bridge supports extend into the lake. I keep saying lake pond. Right. And then now navigating this room becomes a little bit more difficult. Like you got to hop across lily pads or something. Uh, Yeah. How are ravagers going to work? Oh, if we put a, if we put a pond in and the ravagers get stuck in the pond. I always forget about that because we had that one pond in decked out one and the ravagers were just constantly stuck in there. It was annoying. It was just stupid. A ravager proof pond. I mean, yeah, if we put the we can put the, the glass, uh, the glass panes in there and stuff like that, I suppose. Give ravagers frost boots. Yep. Yeah, gla glass panes does does help blue glass panes. Or the, the kiddie pool is, is one deep. What do ravagers do when they're in one deep water? Is that swimming or are they walking still? I'd have to science that up. I'm not sure. Okay, I want to write some of these ideas down because you guys are got, got some decent ones here. Uh, Level two. Uh, we'll do a, a water kitten room. Uh, I like the little water kitten pond. We'll do, um, uh, the ravager den is a ravager break room. That's a good idea. A, a ravager. I, I, I could, I could see hay bales and skulls and bones on the ground, like littered around like armor stand kind of stuff. What, what else would you do with a Ravager? Like chains? Like they were chained up and they broke the chains or something like that? That would be interesting. And then we can put our little Ravager babies in there too. You're right. The baby Ravagers. Uh, broken chains, skulls, bones on armor stands. Hay bales, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know why they'd be hay bales, but. Uh, some saddles, maybe. The question is, is this like a natural home of theirs or were they attempted to be d domesticated and it didn't work out, right? A giant ravager mother. <laughs> It would be interesting if the pirates tried to domesticate the ravagers down here and they failed. And there could be like a whole lore backstory, right? <laughs> and then it, oh, there's so much I want to do. I could totally have that that pirate guy in the boat do something where he wants to like redeem himself for the failed <laughs> failed ravager domestication or something. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, the ravager den is a good one. 
Those are the two I, I think I like so far. Oh, we talked about maybe a skulk. Oh, we talked about a nether room. A broken nether portal, which quite honestly could look very close to the ones that are naturally generated at this point. Um, and then a, a skulk room, like a skulk node, a skulk infection kind of thing, spreading. Something like that. I like that. Do they give you a cream? May, if, that's the level three. You got to find the cream. Yeah. A Ravager collar. From inside. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. The uh, the pirate could send you on a quest to go into the Ravager den to retrieve an item and bring it back to them. That'd be cool. And I could leave a whole Ravager dedicated to that den. That'd be so amazing. God. Feature creep. What? Secret pink hair cut room. No, that's not the best idea. <laughs> Name the Ravager Bob. Yeah, that would be so much fun. Okay, that's four. That's four areas. Don't know where they would go. This room. I like the idea of this being the pond right here. And maybe I could even make it where I use these supports plus some chains to block the Ravagers so they just can't get into the pond. And then I could make the pond deeper. So the player has to like kind of squirt between the support beams and stuff. I think that might be cool. That way we can actually make a real pond and not worry about the Ravagers getting stuck in there, but they'd have to go around. So if you're being chased by the Ravager, you could be like, hop, hop, hop across the lily pads. What? There's not, we're not doing what? Axolotls will fight Ravagers. Oh, well, they really, they're not very smart. Water kittens attack Ravagers. With what? Water Kitten Fury? <laughs> some people saying, yep, it happens. And some people saying, no, it won't. Let's try it. Let's try it. Fine. Because you asked. We will test it. But now this is this even a is this even a correct test? Because. Uh. Is this even a correct test? Because, you know, do they need water nearby or something? I don't know. <laughs> don't feel the fury. They look ferocious. Oh, my gosh. They are so fast. Any day now, they're taking that Ravager down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at them. Look at They've got angry eyes. That one's got angry eyes. Mm -hmm. Out of the way, Skippy. Okay, they've got water now. Oh, look, they go right to the water. What does even happen? Of course, the Ravager goes right into the water. Pet ones will attack. What? I mean, that Ravager is terrified right now. <laughs> this will be a bloodbath. Ravager gets stuck in one deep water. Yep, good to know. Do I need to do I need to bucket them and Oh that doesn't oh it does. And then put them back down? Is that Did something change? Stop the carnage! It's <laughs> so probably because I'm not in survival. There's so many variables here, right? Look at him, he's looking at him like, do you expect me to do something with these things? <laughs> And he's like, oh, you're so cute. I will leave. Oh, 
Are you going to shoot the water kittens? No. Come on, Ravager. See? You see this? He's stuck on one block. <clears throat> oh, no! <laughs> okay. That wasn't, uh... That wasn't tall enough, apparently. Wow, they got me from up there. Okay, you. Oh, I'm all out of arrows now. I had one arrow. Get. Hit. Okay, get them. Get them, kittens. This is, you guys are just totally trolling me. There's no situation where these water kittens are going to attack a Ravager. Or Potato, I'm disappointed. Tell me what the science is if, if this is going to happen. Unbucket a kitten. I already did. I already put two of them in there. Throw that kitten in. Throw that kitten back where it came from. Or so Look, all, all of them. Look at He's just looking at them. Now it's got to be a raid ravager. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, can I, do I have to stay in survival? You guys are just making it up. You're just reaching it. Oh, no, there's gotta be a, a Tuesday Ravager who just ate a frog. And the, and the water kitten has to be yellow. And, and. <laughs> there's too many water kittens. Scooped it up in survival. Okay, cutest predator. Oh, he's gonna eat my face. Get him, boys! Woo! Stop, stop. Look at, look at the Ravager, thwarted. Can't possibly get, can't possibly figure out where I am. Come on. Eat them. I'm, I'm the best at picking these guys up. Yeah, this isn't happening. So I'm not worried too much about water kittens. Did Burp Potato say something? <laughs> Whatever the condition is, it's not going to be met and decked out. Yeah, there you go. All right. So there we go. We scienced it. Pretty sure they're safe. The moon, the moon has to be big. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, so yeah, maybe that goes there. I like that. I like that. Water kitten pond. Cutesy. Uh, this could be the nether portal room down here. I like this one. I, I could kick this wall. I know you do. I know you do. This wall I could kick back a little bit. We can make this a nether room right here. I like that. Rune portal, yeah. What did I what did I say? Nether portal? Yeah, rune portal. Obviously it's not gonna be a real portal. <clears throat> Ravagers want to be with water kittens? Yeah, exactly. Okay, moving on. Uh that's good. I have some good ideas for that now. I am pleased with the outcome of that conversation. All right, we did, we did the roof until we didn't. We got the bells in the right location. I need to increase the bus line so I can trigger the bells, but at least I know where they're gonna go. Uh, let's go to a place we haven't been in a long, long time. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, I'm lost. Um. Oi. All right, let's go grab some shulkers. We're gonna go visit my super amazing iron farm by my old starter base, and we're gonna get some iron because I think we're gonna need it. Shulkers. That's all. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you here yesterday, 
and we did this right with with all the this right that portal messed up my portal linkage and i didn't test it in one direction so now we have to have this stupid thing here i'll show you in the end this is an okay solution but i made this little room now so that i'll show you right it works this way but when you went back in this way it was taking me to the new portal now because i, I raised this guy it takes me here and then you have to drop into our base. This is this works going out, but it doesn't work. I can't come into this because it's so so down low. Yeah. Anyway. To the starter house. I don't remember how to get there. Ow. Oh. Get on it, Bert. Still my favorite small build I've ever done. Love this house. All right, let's, uh, I think it's, it's over here. I haven't been down here in quite some time. As expected. Oh, wow. All right, we're doing good. That'll do. That'll do. It is a small build. This is the slime farm. Oh, that's that's chock full of goodness, I'm sure. Uh, oh, we're going to need our blockificator script. Hang on. Uh, that one, I think. Right, and I go here and I go, blah. yes. All the iron. Still getting a couple of pieces of zombie flesh in there once in a while, it's annoying. Just want to take some home. Boop, 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 boop. Honestly, two shelters is probably enough. That's a lot of iron. Yeah, this is a, uh, for those wondering what I'm doing right now, this is a auto hotkey script that automatically crafts the nuggets into blocks, not the nuggets, the ingots into blocks. And I use the same thing at the gold farm. It's quite handy. How much bone meal has this made? What? It's an iron farm. Nope. Hacks, I call hacks. I know, I know. We'll go two shulkers. That's probably enough for the rest of the season. <clears throat> you have a bone meal storage right there. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. Uh, what are we even bone mealing here? I forget. Oh. What is this? Oh, the, the poppies. Right. This is the poppy power. I totally forgot about this. Everybody remembers more than me. This would be better if I dropped a whole bunch of this on the ground by doing this. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just break some of these guys. Who else? Yeah, that might be enough. All right, now I need space for. Give me some of these and go like that. 
We just need nine slots of the ingots. Is that at about nine right there, I think? Iron in these. Go here, stand here, do this, and go. Brop, 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 brop. That's the that's the that's the pro way to do it. <laughs> jump and jump. Yeah, I'm not. I don't exactly need this as a source of bone meal. Alright, uh, are there any more? Oh, there are some full chests. Oh, that we have we have all the iron still. There we go. Okay, that is plenty. Let's fill this back up. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know that once you place down one chest, if you if you place against another one, it automatically aligns with that chest. I always thought like if you did this, you would get two chests. And I always wasted so much time trying to realign things and everything. And it's just totally not necessary. It's the little things. Probably didn't even explain that correctly, but okay. Do, 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 do. We're good. It does that in bedrock. Oh, does it? It wasn't always that way. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't know. Hi, friend. How are we doing? Villagers are still alive. Come on, go them up. I didn't hear anybody burn since we've been here. Shouldn't we have heard a golem by now? Dying? Is this not working anymore? They need to sleep. Oh, right, right, right. Because no one's loaded these chunks in 7,000 years and stuff. Yeah, okay. Confirmed people on YouTube lie. No. Ah, nostalgia. This is my home for like a long time. I was this is like a year ago. This was our home. Do we still have anything over here? Still at all the coal. Ooh, that's that's a whole lot of magma. Free coal. You guys hear those footsteps? Doesn't that sound different? Is that a different sound because it's crimson? Check it out. Is that a 1194 thing? Cause look, listen. Why? Fixed? Like I, it's wood. I'm so baffled. Oh, it's supposed to be like a squishier mushroom kind of thing? Okay. All right. Oh, the slime farm? I mean, I don't need slime. I got a slime fall in decked out. Slime, slime farm in decked out now. I don't even remember how to get to the slime farm, if I'm honest. Uh, it's like... There it is. There it is. How do I... How do I slime? Right... There it is. Okay, we gotta go inside. What was this called again? <laughs> this is like almost embarrassing. Scar made this for me like a year ago. Like, oh, decked out's gonna be here any day now. <laughs> I weep. Slime farm. 
<clears throat> Ravager's Revenge, yes. This is the super fancy slime farm we made. Pink Terracotta! <laughs> of course it's got pink terracotta. Yeah, it's got adequate, adequate slime. <laughs> Don't need it. The humble beginnings, I know. Uh, are you liking the speed of progress you're making with Decked Out? The first seven months? No. Uh, the last month, yes. How do you make such? I know that 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 farm is next level there. Don't forget to check your stock at the diamond shop. What diamond? What? I don't have a shop or. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I don't even remember these things. The anti shop. Yes. <laughs> the anti shop. Just go ahead and take some diamonds. <laughs> yep. We have to take these. It's meant to be. They they have to go in decked out now. <laughs> Someone left me water kittens. And they <laughs> that's so weird. What are the Joe Payton <laughs> bury the platypus? I love it. Welcome to the anti shop. Need a dime or two? Just go ahead and take them. More water kittens. Water kids. Restock my shop. Okay, yeah, I'll restock the shop. Opening chest is difficult. Ja, Dragon Man! At, how many was that? 7,000? My, my screen is broken. 50? You subbed so hard, Dragon Man, that the whole window just like got gray and broken. She's like, I, I can't. 50 gift subs. Buh. Buh. Ha Thank you, Dragon Man. That is insanely generous. There we go. For all the visitors we get here, there's gonna come a time in a couple months where I have no diamonds and I need you guys to uh, remind me that I left these here. Okay, we're done. Bloop, bloop. Look, this is a great little water kitten pond. Right, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is, this is exactly what it's gonna look like, just smaller scale. Perfect. Future Tango will appreciate that. It's the sacrifices we make. Oh, we can go check out our... Uh... We haven't been over here in so long. Oh! <laughs> Behold! The Tango Tree that we attempted to do live! <clears throat> it's amazing. And the little, the little, the little bee farm! Plan B apiary. Oh, I remember this place. This got this got to be full of all the weedification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got so much weed here. We don't even know what to do. Bone meal over here. This was a fun farm. This is a super fun farm. I love this place. I saw the squishy sounds. It's still working. The bees are still doing their thing. Need that tree and decked out? Mm, yeah, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh wait, is this? I don't. I don't know what's happening in there. Okay. Oh, and then there's this. Look at this. Me. Look at me. 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 I'm an amazing builder. What a jerk. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, adequate with season eight. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't seen ZF's last Hermitcraft video, do yourself a favor and go watch it. This right here, absolutely just one of the coolest things I've seen. Go watch Zed's uh, previous video. And if you're really short on time, just watch the last five minutes. Such, I'm jealous I didn't think of it because it's such a creative thing to do. Thank you, there's the link. And so much snow, like Joe did all of this. There's snow everywhere. Uh, where am I going? We're going back into the hole where we belong. Joe did, Joe did snow good. I, I see what you did there. That was pretty good. Ding, ding, pork chop power. Dragon Man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I uh, 18 nothing. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're still going. I, I got things to do. We're going to lay some track. Because this is actually what we're going to be doing in the video is getting the evokers in. And it's good. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm lost. In my own dungeon as usual. Let me go drop off my iron. I don't get out of the cave that much, so it's very exciting for when I do. You have to you have to bear with me. Going to see the Hermitcraft server is like it's kind of a treat for me these days. Especially when I see like an actual hermit. It's pretty amazing. Every once in a while they come by and they gift me goods. And I'm so appreciative. Put some of that there. Put this over here. Super amazing, happy fun time. Water kittens are gonna go here. They will be the official uh, initial tribute to the water kitten hole. Put these back. Did I get both? Nope. Missed one. Yeah, when Deck Dust is done, by the way, and the hermits are done playing it, I may take a week or two off. We're just going to say that. I, I, I might. I might take a week or two off. Okay. More rockets, more pork chop power. All right, what are we doing? We're laying track. What, we're, what do we want to use as a netherrack? Do I have a lot of netherrack? Let's use stone. I got tons of stone. Come, 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 come. All right. Bu -bu 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 up. Plenty, 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 plenty. That might be a bit too much. Uh, levers, 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 levers. Sticks. Stick. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yes, Dragon Man, 1974. Amazing. Gift sub bomb. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Oh, hi, Doc. Okay. Uh, this is where I need to brain a little bit, so bear with me. Uh, all right. If you weren't here, ye was it yesterday? It feels like four days ago. Was it yesterday we did this? God. If we weren't here yesterday, we have a system now to get evokers and ravagers from the raid farm, where we will in the video from the raid farm through the nether, drop them down this hole here. And now I want to, the first thing I'm gonna do is get all the evokers in. There are 
one two three four five six seven eight nine looks like nine nine places in the dungeon where i have evokers pegged out to be and i wanna i, th I think i just have to right the only way to get them there is is minecart trying to think if there's a smart way to do this or something but i don't think so uh, on level one, there's nine in level one, yeah. Nine places on level one where evokers will pop up. Clank kills, ladies and gentlemen. Clank kills. All right, so planning a little bit here. If I run them down the side here, there's one right there. You guys are going to get some spoilers here. So be it. Uh, I think I'll, I'll send that because there's one there. There's one. It's where it's where you'll see little obsidian right there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one no, 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 there. There's one there. There's one there. There's this one here. Not nine Ravagers. No, this is not. Did I say Ravagers? I probably did. No, I said I meant Evokers. I think I said Evokers. Nine Evoker spots. Nine places where they're going to uh, be very unhappy with you when you come by. I think I think this is just do it and see what happens. Oh, do I have my sneak gun? I feel like I'm going slow. That <laughs> Evoker bus track pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm going to try and just keep them out of the way for now. Because I don't care about distance. I just care about... Can I get them where I need to put them? Similar to the Kraken and the Kerbal Space. I never played Kerbal Space Program. I feel like I really should have. I feel like I would have really enjoyed that game. Take boots off, you'll be reminded. I know I'm just used to the speed now. Uh, oh, hey, look, this was a thing. <laughs> this extra little here. Sure, I'll take advantage of this. We'll run them back here. All right, where was the first one? First one was there, so okay. So we need to, here's the deal. <clears throat> We need to get them on the piston with their... We're using Powdered Snow on level one because Powdered Snow is the greatest thing ever because you can completely see through it. Or you can't see through it, but it has no collision at all. So Powdered Snow is perfect for hiding evokers on this level. Uh, the plan is to have them standing or in the minecart on there with their head in the iron bars. And the reason their head is in the iron bars is so that when you get... is that you can't peek in the hole and have them vexificate you in the face. Uh, they will only be able to see you when this pops up, in which case, then their head will be out of the iron bars, they'll be able to see through the snow, and then when uh, Evoker Happy Fun Time is over, they will fall back down. That's the plan. I was originally planning on having them stand there, and then of course enclose them and everything, but I think just sitting on the minecart might, should be good, right? They're a little bit shorter, uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna be in the powdered snow. They're looking through powdered snow. Right, calm down. Yeah, their their head's not gonna be in powdered snow. There's powdered they're powder snow adjacent. Uh the lower piston was to get them because I was gonna lower that piston down there, put them on that, and then push that bottom piston up, which then pushes this piston up. But now that they're on a minecart, I think I can just roll them right in there. And I think we'll be fine. Right? The minecart will just slide under here. The, the iron bars won't hurt them. When this lifts up, their head should be higher than a block. Right? Because I, I think they are shorter when their their eye height is shorter when they're in a minecart. But I still think it's above one block. Right? In which case... 
I think I can just send them down there and we should be good. Yes, noise is true story. True story, very much. Take your car to the mechanic. Oh, you busted your Niner joint. That's going to cost $8,000. Sir, what's a Niner joint? Oh, you wouldn't understand, but it costs $9,000. That's that's what mechanics are. Okay. Uh, just don't short pulse the piston they can get. Fall. Yeah, no, we're not going to short pulse. It's going to be like, happy fun time Vex is on. Happy fun time Vex is off until when the game is over. Where are you getting the evokers? We just talked. Only mad mechanics are like that. Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> okay. This feels like, right? And then if I just do that, I don't even need the track there, right? They should roll in there. Or do I need that and then not worry about it? Because once I pissed in, the, the track will break anyways. That's probably safer. Right? When I push that... Wait, you can... Can you push tracks vertically? We need to science this. Science time, sorry. I don't want to mess this up. Hi, Ravager friend. <clears throat> hey, they reordered the creative menu stuff now. It's kind of crazy now. It, it does make sense, but it's taking some getting used to for sure. Cart. Let's see if this works. Hi. Yeah. Okay. That seemed to work just fine. And then I'll have to stealthily come by here and block them in. But now let's get... Oh, I should put a piston there first. <laughs> I'm the smartest. Goodbye. Thank you for your science. Okay, uh, let's put that there. We're going to go this, that, that, that. And I lost my minecart. Go there, go there. Ah, you're not. <laughs> you are not an evoker. Get, go, oh, and anti pushback. Hang on. His butt was a little bit larger. I was not expecting him. Doink, doink, doink. You're in. Now I go boink. His eyesight is just right. I drop him down. That falls away. I don't care. Oh, this is good, right? So that's all I need to do now. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for your science contribution. Yes. Uh, defensive mechanism is the standard pay system used to. Yeah. No, sorry. I just. I hate, it's not just mechanics. I hate any service that you have to hire and blind bin. You don't know what you're doing. So you have to blindly trust what they tell you, right? It's the same thing with like air conditioner guys that come to your house or anything, right? The bar moved up by one. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, what? How did that? How did that happen? Oh, the rail. The rail pushed it up. Okay. So we need to break the rail. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry, stupid. So I'll, I'll still leave. Well, hold on. Let's see if let's see if they skadoodle there without the rail. If they've got decent speed. Yeah. I don't even need the rail. I can still block them in. And then we're good to go, right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You're going to be a jerk about it. The rail's not there, and now it gets all stupid. Minecart is stuck. Because the minecart's hitting the thing, yeah. No, glass pane won't matter. Well, maybe glass pane... Well, I could I could put a glass... I need, I need the occlusion here, because people are going to be like... 
it's going to be something like this, right? Right? So there's like snow there. And I don't want people to stand on this snow and look in and get vexificated unless he's active. So I need something there that blocks line of sight, but isn't going to block the cart. Or, or what happens if I just break the cart and there's nowhere for him to go? Will he... Hmm, jerk, I forgot about that block. If I get rid of all the spots around, let's try that. Because maybe I don't need the cart. If I go... Don't, he's dead! If I do that, I do that, I do that. And then we break the cart. Right? And now we're good, because now his head's already inside. This is the way I originally intended to do it. I think that's better. Just take him out of the cart. What about a top slab? Does anyone see concerns with doing it this way? I think this works pretty good. Test one more time here. Get in there. I break that. I break that. I make sure that he has no, no, nowhere to go to, right? As long as there's not another block around it, he will go in there. He'd be pre-blocked in. In fact, I'll probably do glass here just so I can see him and mock him occasionally. Right? And then now it's like, boop, evoker mode, boop. I think that's better. And it's not any harder, right? I'll put the, I'll put the, I'll put that block in before I break the minecart, so he'll never see me. He can jump out once you lift him. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a solid block above his head. There's gonna be a block right there, so he can't. So it's like, generally something like that, right? So he can't, he can't skadoodle anywhere there, right? He's good. That's pretty much the process right there. But again, the iron bar is key. Right, because if I came by here inside the dungeon, right here, he would be vexing my face. But with that there, he can't. Even if I stand in here, he won't be able to. He won't be able to hurt me because he's got that iron bar in his face that blocks line of sight. All right. So mine carts, mine cart goes in. No rail on the piston. Break. Get take him out of the take him out of the thing. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and I've got to name tag them, but that they're already going to be name tagged. They're already going to be name tagged by the time they're. Oh right, the silence. I have to name them all. Silence me or whatever it is. Yes, they all have to be named Silence, uh, and I got to remember what it is. Silence me, si and it's like Ooh. it actually works with like some caps, some not. There's like four different ways you could do it, and everyone argues about which way to do it, but I think they all actually work. I think it's Silence me though. Isn't that what it is on the server? Feels like a joke. Silence me, lowercase, or silenced. I think it's something like that, but we'll, we'll figure that out. But yeah, good point. I forgot about that because I would have named them something else like Vexificator, and I would have been sad when they were in there. I would have to do it all over again. Uh, okay, we're good here. Science complete. So that's good. In fact, let me go get some glass. We can get that front glass in there now, so as soon as they roll in there, they'll already be uh, contained. <laughs> I would totally name them Skadoodle Pants. <laughs> in fact, I love that name. All right, so we can do that, and he'll just slide right under that thing, boom, right in there. So I can, I can power him from way back there and he's just going to be angry and not have anything to vex or do whatever he does. He'll roll in here. Let me lower this. I feel like that. Is he going to... If he bumps his head, it's fine. Okay, we're good, right? You can silence them, then rename them, can't you? I thought the name had to be the silence name, but I, I don't know. I'm okay with them being silence me and saying that no one's ever going to see them. <clears throat> Is there going to be multiple, going to be a surplus of Ravagers and Evokers somewhere for backups? Uh, yes, we're, we're going to have a storage again. If you're here yesterday, we did all this uh, on the roof of the nether is where we're going to have uh, Ravagers and Evokers. We're going to have like a little stall stable. 
once he renames the silence, you can you can change it again. Okay. Yeah, the Evokers aren't killing anybody. It's the Vexes. Yes, Vex despawn after 30 to 45 seconds. There's a heavy variance, but they all respawn with despawn within uh, within about a minute. Skadoodle Pants would be a fantastic name for a Ravager. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. I'm super pleased with this. These don't need to be powered because it's downhill. Uh, we'll throw power there. I'll come back and power all these in a bit. Right, yeah. I'm super bad at laying the tracks. Hermits be able to rename Ravagers. I don't think right at the beginning they will, but eventually, yeah, we'll start that as like a, a mid-season little mini game, I think, because it's fun. Uh, they'll be able to buy name tags at the shop and then name, name their own Ravager and they get credit if that Ravager kills someone. Wish we could track how many players are getting killed by the Endermites in the little parkour pit you made. Oh, uh, that's doable if I put some hoppers under it and collected their, I would collect their compass and stuff there. It's totally doable. Just not sure it's worth it. There's a lot of stuff. We're going to have, a, like I said, we're going to have a whole stream where we do all the stat tracking stuff. For three hours, we're just going to visit all the redstone and put in like counters and trackers and everything so that we know what is being, what is happening. All right, let's get some lever action here. Naming a warden actually isn't that hard. I'm trying to remember from deck that one if anyone named a warden and died in the process. I mean, it always is like it turns around and chases you, but it's, unfortunately, wardens just aren't quite fast enough. All right, that should work. Boom. Number one done. <clears throat> they definitely did not name a warden in decked out one true story for some reason people amazing genesis i i was waiting for that genesis i don't have to read the rest <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Uh, warden death matches don't always have the name. Might be hard to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to do naming a warden. I feel like... Let's see here. Where's the next one? That's the... Wait, is it? No, where is it? Right there. All right. All right, we can, we can, uh, we can turn here. Shortly. Stat poker when? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, looks like it's better to go in over here. Oh, start the landing. Okay. Do that. This, this, this. Uh, oh, we got to get more. I could just use glass, honestly. I, I, I originally was going to go with like all obsidian just so I knew I could tell where the evokers are. But glass is even better, arguably, because I both know where they are and I can see them and mock them. <clears throat> Seeing is believing, yes. Did you see those toes? I know. You're impressed by my my toe strength. That's years of years of toe training. 
Uh, this has got to go up one block here. Yes, yes, yes. This goes there. That goes there. I don't need that piston anymore. Let's go doodle up here, back over there. We're good. A little bit of excess here, but we're fine. <clears throat> totally. Totally monk training. I, I see what's going on there. I'm good. I'll let that one go. I'll let that one happen. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll go right here. This is all temporary. I'm going to tear this all down when they're all, once they're all in there. Well, that's a good question. I, sh I should probably leave this in just in case, just in case they actually die. It would be nice to just be able to drive them in again. So maybe I will keep it in for a little bit. Where's my levers? Don't forget the glass bar next to the iron bar. Yep. Thank you. I'm going to go back and check it out in a second. Did they change? I'm probably just drunk, but did they change this recently? By recently, I mean in the last three years. I didn't think you could go down an angle on an adjacent block. I thought you had to have like a block here and then go down for it to work. Does anyone did that? I feel like that changed and it was annoying before. But what do I know? You can't go up. Okay. All right. That should be enough speed to get them in there. Let me just double check here. Just, I don't want to, last thing I want to do is have one of these guys stall out and be like, hey, come and get me boss. That's, I don't, I don't need that in my life. So let's glass this guy up here. We're good. Okay. Curve or slope. Yeah, I don't know. I thought even that wasn't really possible, but who knows? Okay, I will lever that when that's there. Good, good, good. That's two done. This is actually uh, this is going pretty good already. I'm pleased. You abandoned the evoker's minecart idea, but you are de facto building a lot of that infrastructure now. Huh? I abandoned the evoker in the minecart just because I couldn't lift them up, Uriel. I still need to get them here in minecarts. I, I'm, I'm not seeing your point. I'm sorry. Yeah, I still got to get them here. I'm not gonna, not gonna walk them over here on a leash. Okay, next one is. At this point, I got one there, one there, one there, and one there. I feel like I should just drag some track. Where, where's my latest track? I've got track up to, oh, only here. Oh, I could go down. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's ride this next to the blue line here. That works. I think me, I think he, I think the mean, the part where they traveled randomly around the dungeons and sewers. Oh, 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 oh I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, it's one thing to just lay some mine carts to get them someplace. It's another to have a whole system that triggers them and then re corrals them again and launches them out and make sure they're not bumping into each other and modify the whole dungeon for visibility purposes. So. Yeah, but that's a that's a much bigger task, I feel like. And it's noisy. There's mine carts rolling everywhere inside the dungeon, which totally breaks the vibe of the dungeon feel, I feel like. I don't know. I, I think there's pros and cons to it. And that's why I just eventually I was like, I, I didn't think it was too many cons, not enough pros. <laughs> Not with that attitude, Uncle. I know, right? Uh, let's get a little bit of skadoodle here. Boop. And just just stay on the bar. Okay, we gotta go there first, and then we're gonna split off to where's the other one? There. Okay. <laughs> I 
was the last time you revisited decked out one not since season seven ended if i if i went to visit decked out one right now i would probably be very sad and disappointed in it sub oh my gosh five thousand bitty bits Thank you. A notification apparently didn't go off or anything. Holy bits indeed. Thank you so much. Is it is it sub IG or a subig? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. That would be so much fun though. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe we may have a stream where we just do a, a decked out one recap. And reminisce. You went to watch that video like you suggested. It was incredible. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to steer you wrong. <laughs> Reach. Uh, I don't want to be here. I want to be. I want to be there. Ender Pearl, go, go. I should really carry Ender Pearls on me now. It's getting so hard to fly in here. There we go. Ish. Uh, okay, this guy's gonna go in. I think we're gonna change this. He's gonna go in this side. Whoa! I everything didn't scare me at all. Nope. I wasn't scared. No, sir. <laughs> Okay, you are gonna go in right there. That's gonna go there. We're good. Let's drop this down a block here. I'm not pinching any redstone or anything, am I? I think we're still good. But what does this do? What would you say you do here? Oh, this is a... What is this? What does this do? It's getting a signal on... Oh! I just already started to hook this one up for some reason. Okay. Yeah, that's, this is... So, sorry. Duh. It's the light gray line. That means that it, it, you're at... Ma Clank was generated and you are at max Clank. And this is the game online, so this is randomizing here to see if this clankificator should clank. Got it. None of this is necessary right now. I will come back and re readdress this stuff later, and I don't need this or this. Or did I? Hold on now. Did I hook? I did hook all these up. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, don't ever throw your mind away like I do. What? Did I hook these up? I did. I don't know what I did. I ran the gray line here. And there's this torch tower here, but where's the... Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I did run wire these all up. Right, that's the gray line. That's the randomizer. Boom, torch tower up. It's the pistons. Okay, so these are done. So that means I don't want to break this. I actually want to pay attention to what I'm doing. I can't believe I forgot all this. Okay, right, that goes there. That torches, that torches. Powers that guy. So I want... I need that dust back. Noises are going off, baboon! Shiny button, <laughs> thank you, baboon. Not a real that your content keeps you happy and keeps me mental in check most days. Thanks for being funny and derp sometimes. Hey, the derp comes for free. Uh, baboon, thank you so much. That is incredibly generous of you. Uh, yeah, past tango is being awesome here and current tango is being extra stupid. So uh, hold on now. We got, a, we got a torch right below that. When that turns on, 
We just need the dust that we had there. Yes. And then that will raise. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Why am I so disoriented now? We haven't even run. Okay. This? Yes. I, I just totally had a brain fart there and like I couldn't remember anything about what I did two days ago. Whew. Okay. What happened to the lower piston? Uh, some, this, this was one of the earlier ones I did before I realized I needed the double piston, so I think I didn't have it. My mind just totally rebooted. Yeah, I, I apologize. And the piston blow isn't necessary anyway, so... All right, so if we go like this, uh, we want to take that out and go there. So now it's glass. Uh, let me put a piece of glass up in there, too, just to make sure. Okay. He's going to drive up in there. We're good. Nope. Get a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Nope. Good, good, good. I don't know why I curved there. I could have just gone straight. <laughs> Cold boot indeed. Uh, probably don't need these, but again, let's just be safe. Okay, boom. Hold on. Oh. Nonsense. <clears throat> ice requests were made. We don't need, we don't need ice. What are you talking about? Okay. We're good there. Now we want to get one. Where was the next one? There's one back there. It might be best to do you want to squirt through there or. I got it set up. Ugh, it's getting to be a mess. It's getting to be a mess. There's, there's a bit too much spaghetti now. Plan to leave the rails for the chance of maintenance. Yeah, I did not. That's what I was talking about before. I was going to tear them all out, but I think I'll probably leave them in for, you know, a couple weeks or so at least because I think I think once the game is played a few times, the chance of the evoker dying is very slim, but I think the chance of an evoker dying early on is pretty high. Like if they suffocate for some reason on a pop up or something, uh, there's a good chance they'll die. So I'll probably leave the rails in for a little bit just to make sure. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I should come over to the side here. Can I just, yeah, let's try it. That's getting weird. Hang on, trying to figure out a path here. It looks like right through there, maybe. Looks like right through there. We'll, we'll go right off of this. This is going to be super windy, but whatever. like them to stay right at that height so I can still walk under here oh this is yeah this is definitely coming down this part of here is disgusting gotta get them to up here don't need that uh, oh that's gotta go up one Piston. Uh, I can't. I can't. Uh, uh oh. Wait, are you necessary? What are you doing with yourself? Nothing. How about you? Yeah, okay, I'll let you. There's a little bit of suffocation that may happen there. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. We're thinking. We're planificating. Uh, oh, wait, we want to have this be even here. Oh, but that's super suffocation right there. That's right. I'll take that out temporarily. Right. They may clip their head on that right there. That's fine. They slide in there. We're good. And now they're down here. Okay. <laughs> Thank 
Thinking is hard. Uh, oh, you're down there. Okay. Okay. We got a thing. Let's do doink doink. Doink doink. Doink doink. Doink doink doink. Doink. And da, da, da. let's get a lever on this one. Right, and then, so the first time I leave it like this, so it goes right by. Once that guy's filled, I switch this switch. And he's gonna fly right on by. <clears throat> uh, won't you have to do this all over again on live two? You mean level two? Yeah. I have to do everything on level two. There's gonna be basically like a week where I just admit that my life is horrible and I do nothing but rest on a level two for a week. And it's gonna be extra horrible. I'm not looking forward to it, but it needs to be done. And then it needs to be done for level three. And it needs to be done for level four. And then I hate myself. You'll be there for me. I appreciate it. Problem is, I don't know if I can stream that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Evil. There's no way. I mean, honestly, some of this stuff I will be able to stream because it's just kind of this monotonous repeat the process. But the initial planning, I definitely won't do live. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got that one all set up. I'm excited here. We need a level three and four first. Yes, yes, we do. True story. That's that's the next big step I'm most excited about is designing level three and four. That's going to be fun. How many levels has he completed? Two. Two are built. One is functional. Oh, Master Big Dad, I didn't notice your sub. I'm so sorry. Oh, wires. Great Spoon, Bugman, 38 months. Thank you. Tech Variety, 14 months. Oh, let me scroll past all the dragon stuff. All right, Poodle. Thank you. You don't see it, but thank you. I appreciate it. When is the next YouTube video? Well, I've started working on it. I've started working on it, but... uh. Streaming and hockey have put a damper on things. Yeah, so soon soon. I'm hoping I get a lot done tonight uh, Tomorrow I have to edit last life. I'll do that in the morning Realistically Saturday realistically Saturday Because tomorrow's gonna be Friday's gonna be a double stream by the way Friday. We're streaming Hermitcraft first half and then we're doing something fun on the Patreon server. I think there's going to be an Easter egg hunt on the Patreon server. I'm looking forward to that. I have no idea what it is and no idea what to expect. So be, be sure you're here Friday. Uh, we are doing a JIT stream this week, but it is not tomorrow. It is Friday. Things get moved around. I believe that's where we're at currently. So I think Friday is going to be a double stream day. Yeah. I'll be streaming Hermitcraft slash Easter egg hunt in the morning and then probably... Uh, Jits Phasmo. Actually, it won't be Phasmo. It's probably going to be Demonol Demonologist. Uh, probably like 2 o'clock or so. So it's going to be a back-to-back -back stream. I'm going to be exhausted. But it'll be fun. You can't double stream control. Yeah, we're going to try. We're sure going to try, Doc. Okay. Uh, next one. Let's see. We're doing good here. We got that one. We got that one. I think at this point, I just want to have this guy go around there. We're making like the most weird track here. Do I have that guy go over there or do I have this one? Where is it? Right here. What's the best way? I think I'm just going to go all the way around to there. So let's see. You follow me. There will be no void train this week. Yeah. This thing's got bumped around, so couldn't happen. We did our best to alert him. What did I miss? Uh. Missed the rail. Hang on. 
hang on. That's not helpful. It's the rail on the piston. Oh, oh, all right. We don't want there. Thank you. Okay. And I think I got the glass, right? Did I not get the glass? Got the glass on that one. Let's check this one. I think I got it. Oh, this one I forgot, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Thank you. Switch. Indeed. Yes, this is the Evoker installation. For those that aren't, they're just showing up now. Uh, we're laying some track here to ride the Evokers into the their cells of eternal happiness. side do I want them on right there perfect I'll just roll him right up in hopefully this doesn't mess with any redstone I think we're good <clears throat> ever had a crumble cookie yes I have Babern. they are the greatest they are the greatest of all the greats yeah we're fine here Distant power, crumble cookies are amazing. Absolutely. Okay, you now go there. You power that, you're good. We need a rail right there. Wait. Yeah, okay. He's gonna boop his head on the he's gonna he's gonna get suffocated for a clip there, but that's fine. Right, he'll roll up right in there. Let's get some glass on this side here, though. And then once we get them all in there, we'll break this and put a glass there and stuff, too. We're good. <clears throat> You're eating a crumble cookie at the moment? What flavor, Baboon? Let me, let me pretend I'm enjoying one with you. More powered rail so it doesn't get stuck. We got a triple pod right here. He's going to zoom his face right in there. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Look at the mods with the no caps. The no cap hammer. <laughs> Jim the Bob, that's a bit weird, but yes, pretty much. Okay, Genesis, got it. Uh, you could lay glass along the whole length of the rails to prevent any near. Yeah, I could. But, you know, near-death accidents are fun, so. Oh. What? I just heard footsteps there. I just heard footsteps. Uh, yeah, I could I could have glass like this, and then their head would be in the glass the whole time, but that's, that's too much work. That's too much work to clean up, and I mean, let's face it, it reduces the chance that I might die horribly, so nobody wants that. This is one-time use anyways, yeah. Okay, so we're good there. Next one, we're making a whole circuit of the of the dungeon here. Next one is right here. Let's roll them in. Like how I used to do from obsidians there. It's amazing. Uh, I think we roll them in. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. We're good. The branch and we go and we see what happens put one of these right there dunk, 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 dunk. right <laughs> this guy now works like so but he's happy no caps Did I go too far? Where am I? Oh, we're, on, we're right on track. 
Seems like this will take a while for level two, three, and four, but since you did it all for level one, you know, to do one out be easier. So it's worth yeah, exactly, Bobzilla. It's it's still a tremendous amount of work, but we're kinda gonna be good at it. Goodish. Uh if I do this, there we go. We're gonna swoop them right in the root. Quick turn. Boom. Uh oh, man. One block too low. I feel like I just broke one block too many there. Okay. Piston. There. That's better. Stone. Can I do all this? No. Oh, this is what you guys are saying. You can't go up. Okay, cool. So a little little face clipping there. Let's see, should we just have him go around? That's better. That's better. Ah! Stupid. Ah! I love rails. Uh, it's going to get actually stuck on that though right there. Uh, all right, let's let's get it a little out to the side here. Uh, 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 uh. I'm raining. <sighs> My times are gonna make that same mistake. There, 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 there. Aha! Right? Everything, everything is super amazing great now. Uh, some serious, are you, I don't want to break this. Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna take some suffocation here, but he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Trust me. All right, let's get some superpower here though, because that's a lot of curving and ramping there. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Hopefully that's enough to, let's just do a little bit here on this ramp. Excellent. Yeah, he's going to like, blah, blah. it'll take two ticks right there, but that's fine. He, he's a tough little guy. He'll power through. Sometimes a little suffocating is what they need. Yeah. Monty! Here, Jed, let me get that whoop for you. I don't, I don't get it. Whoop. Thank you, Monty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh, nene, nene. There were bits. There were bits. There were bits. Kennedy. This this guy. <laughs> Kennedy, that 100% gets around the caps ban. You get to cap all you want when you do that. Thank you very much for your capacity. No, no, it doesn't. What? Jerks. It should get around the caps. Cap police. Being all cap jerks. Okay. Long track. Troop, 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 troop. G -g and in. Excellent. Good work here. Uh, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think it might be time to go the other way. Do we now skadoodle this way? We got two, two in there. This one's going to be super tricky. Look at this one. The redstone on this one. It's all it's just like I got it. I got an artifact drop. I got a clank of a cater and I got a pop up of a cater. All meh. Somehow. Oh, but wait. No, these guys. We're doing these guys differently because they're different. That's how different means. So I'm just going to save those guys because they're going to be easy. I think the only last one that's tricky is not. Oh, I got to do that one. And 
that one. So I got two over here. <laughs> Did someone say banana? Banana! Banana! I love when Ethos excited about using code words. Uh, okay. That one's different too. We'll run some track over here. Oi, will we? Look at this hot mess. Look at this. Yikes. How am I going to get a minecart up there? I'm going to have to slime block, block launch it. No. All right, no, we're going to we're going to run track. I think we're going to run him through the dungeon as well too. I think that's easier. All right, so the only other one I really want to do underground is this guy. Can I get track to him? Oy, these are not easy right now. Uh, okay, oh, wait, I can come in this way right here. All right, down here, parallel to the green line. And go. Now, is it better to draw something from all the way over there? Or... Oh, I got a rail right here. Okay, so if I go... If I go, if I go, if I go... I'll loop around here here yeah just go around just go around the, the tnt drop thing there okay the spaghetti is getting real i agree like the bus line helped me a lot but at some point you have to bring the wires into the middle and when you get a lot of systems in it, it spaghetti is inevitable you can't you can't not spaghetti and it's sad uh do you have a favorite sauce to go with all this spaghetti pesto Pesto is my favorite sauce. Thank you for asking. It's delicious in my face. Sometimes it makes me poop. <laughs> and you asked. I guess you didn't. But now you know. Doc, just, just ask. I'll share everything you want to know. Ah, oh, pesto is so, so good. Who doesn't love pesto, right? It's delicious. Nom, 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 nom. We go to this place where they have a, a pesto pasta dish, and I order it every time, and I always ask for extra pesto. And they get, and it's it's just like a pool of pesto at the bottom when I ask for extra. And they have like this amazing garlic bread and you dunk it in there. And, nom, 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 nom. So, so good. It's too green. It's too amazing. I think it's, I think you misspelled green. I think you misspelled amazing. You're allergic to pesto? I, I, how do you even, how do you even go on? I don't, how, I can't imagine. Can't even imagine. The pesto is so, so good. I want pesto for dinner now. Acidosis, yum. Mm. Boop. Okay, so they all fall here. I sound like a Humpty Dumpty. And they all fall here. Skadoodle-doodle. This track I'll definitely leave because this is in nobody's way. And do you make it with a Morgan? I don't know. I don't know how you make Pestle. It's got like some kind of nuts in it or something that are crushed up. I don't know. It's magic. It's green slimy magic. Is this the Ravager line? No, this is the Evoker lines. The Ravagers aren't going to need a complicated line. I'm just going to dump them all in the same spot and hope they disperse amongst the dungeon. If they don't, we have bigger problems. Uh, have we gone too far? Do, 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 do. We're going right here. Which way are we going to come in? Yikes. Uh, we're going to have to change this around to come in. Nope. Buh. Buh. How am I going to get? Okay, this is. Let's see. This side is looking like the best. This side is out of the question. 
This uh, I could do this side. Let's do let's do the far side. I'll take out that obsidian. We'll troop under the green line. All right, so I need to go to. Uh, where am I? Oh, hi, I'm up here. Oh, oh, I should have I should have come down here then. Let's uh let's lower. What's up, Shawshank? How you doing? Fresh garlic. Oh, yes. See? Oh, so good. So good. So good. The Ravagers would suffocate next to the wall. Yeah. No guardrails. Just let it happen. If you fall, there's just a little, there's a manly squeal. That's all. Everything else is fine. Uh, okay, you need to go ugh, down. This is going to be nasty one right here. And then it's got to go up there. So I want to go under that green, which means I got to go under this. This is all dumb with extra dumb. Uh, oh, let's hook around. Let's hook around here. Here we go. Here we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Up, camera axle. How you doing? Up, uh, er, brain. I, I've hit a thing. Okay. Uh, what about if we do... I have no idea what's happening. Can I... Eh. Okay, we're almost there. All right, we got to get back up on top of there now. Uh, can I make that jump? amazing folks okay skadoodle where is it it's right there aha so we, we cut in now I think yes yes nope 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 this has got to be very precise here. Nope. Too sharp. Think it can make it up there without clipping his head? I think. And then... Oh! Oh, maybe we'll go... Okay. Maybe... Maybe, maybe that? And maybe... Break you? Okay. He's in the right spot, which is good. And do doink, right? Extra doink. I think we're good. Yes, we're good. Let's get some boosters here. Oh, I'm almost out of booster juice. Okay. I got five powered rails left. Where's my levers? Oh, lever. Do that. We're gonna have just the right amount of powered rails. Planned it perfectly. <laughs> Booster juice. It's the stuff that. Uh oh. Uh oh. How embarrassing for me. Ah, oh, I must get more power rails. Thought we were going to be amazing. I think this life is really dying. It's doing fine. It's fine. Bloop. Uh, that's plenty. Four hours? What? What? I don't stream that long. <laughs> I know, right? The stream should be over by now. The stream should have ended two hours ago. But this is what I would be doing if I wasn't if I wasn't streaming. I'd be laying track. So here we are. Th this next video is very much. I should stand up. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Thank you. Uh, this next video is totally going to be just like, hey, look what I've done. Oh, 
monkey pains. Legs hurt. Thank you. Standing up is a good idea. Okay. It's all gonna skadoodle down here because of gravity. Skadoodle down here. Let me just put a couple of these guys right there just in case. Is there a gist in the future? Yes, Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Shut up, evil. Shut up. They're hockey pains. From the furious onslaught I deposited on my hockey victims last night. You should see the other guy. They all cried for mercy. <laughs> furious deposit. No, that's after the that's after the pesto. That's when you make the furious deposit. Anyway. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. With the things and the things, right? I got all of them but three lined up. The other three I'm going to take into the dungeon because they're different. <clears throat> Mobs can't spawn on the rails. Are we good? We got a lot done. All right, stream. This is for you. Okay, this is for you. Because there was a stream probably two months ago where I poked a hole through here and I was saying something about this room something something and I punched that hole and I don't remember why and I was like oh it needs a it needs something else and I punched this hole I was like oh we got space and I hit, and I was like I'll poke these holes out to remind me what I'm doing and And I don't remember why we did it. So, come on. Nope. No one knows. Show the room. I mean, this is, this is the end crypt room in the back of the back of level one. Right, we're in here and it's kind of like a dead end room and I was saying something about it, it was missing something. And I was like, maybe we, we have the space here, I could. Secret tunnel, I mean, to what? Not an archer, no. Me more reasons to go back there. I, I feel like that was it. Yeah, like people will come back into this room. There are artifact pickups here. There are treasure deposits back here and stuff. It's not the cow level. Stop with the cows. Stop at the black market. There was family quest stuff. No, I don't think we. I remember we were we were doing that stuff. We were talking about the family quest line stuff, but. I don't feel like it was from that. Paying coins to the family. Was it about that? You're sure it was that? It feels like it was about that long ago, but I can't imagine why I would need another room to... I don't know. Either way. Well, that's not how that goes. Oh, we're just, oh, oh we're tearing everything up now. That's how it goes, I think. Right? Should that be? That should. Be, I, I need one of those there. Minimum vi. Oh yeah, we're not doing it. I'm just trying to clank, clank elsewhere. I'm stupid. 
Okay, this is good. I got to do a little bit more sealing. I'll do that after stream. We're going to wrap it up here because four hours is, yeah. Uh, and I obviously have no energy left. I'll finish the ceiling after I take a break and very much ready to start recording the episode and getting it done and showing what we got and moving things in. I'm excited for that. So it'll be fun. Okay. Uh, you are the cutest. Mm, no. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching me lay track and build ceilings and stuff. This is what you call a boring tangle stream, but it needs to be done. I'm, I apologize. I try to do more interesting things on stream, but this is the stuff that was blocking my video. So, so we're good. Uh, again, recap tomorrow. There is no stream, no jit stream tomorrow for tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah, that's canceled. But on Friday, however, there's going to be two streams. We got uh, a Hermitcraft slash Easter egg hunt on the Patreon server afterwards. Um, yeah, this room is so much better. Dead Knight, you, you, the, the lanterns really, really helped. So thank you so much. Um, so Friday's going to be two streams. We're going to have a start start here on Hermitcraft, probably doing some decked out. We'll bump over to the Patreon server. We're going to do an Easter egg hunt there. I don't know what it is. It should be fun, though. Uh, and then probably right when that stream ends, I'm going to try to talk to the guys and get a half hour break. Uh, we'll be going in to a JIT stream. I don't know when, probably two o'clock or so. And... Uh, Probably playing Demonologist, which I'm really excited about. If you like Phasmo, I think you want to watch this game because there's going to be some serious jump scares. And I, you know, I just like that. It'll be good. Uh, so thank you, guys. Uh, take care and uh, have yourself a good day after whatever today is. And I'll see you Friday. Goodbye.